Virgin. Say it on me. Say it in your Bible. Say it. Come on. Say it. He said, matter of fact, this is how he is. He said, open up your mouth. Just say my mouth. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I studied. I need the phone. I don't have to study a whole lot now, but I do. Amen. Open up your mouth wide. And I will feel it. Hallelujah. So I believe when I open up my mouth, <laughs> that the Spirit of God that lives in me yes. can talk. Yes. 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 Cause I really ain't got nothing to say. Yes. <laughs> oh. How about this? So I'm, I'm aware of this. Somebody say, be aware. Be, be aware. aware. Are you conscious yes. that God lives in you, yes. or is that just a Bible verse? To yes. You? yes. See. Mm -hmm. The difference between the Old Testament, they sit down and they read laws, but they didn't meditate on it. So therefore, the impartation of the Holy Spirit had not come yet, that dispensation wasn't here. But it is helpful to us because it can encourage us. Yeah. It can give us some knowledge and some wisdom about some things of God. Come on now. But when you start getting into the Old Testament, Jesus had came to the earth. God had finished his promise that he thought about in the earth. You know, I when I sent that word anyway, I already knew they weren't going to be able to fulfill it. See, this is how wise God is. So he created even an issue. He knew it was going to be an issue, but he already had an answer. That's why I tell y'all that. Just, just calm down. Quit acting up and acting out. Calm the devil said, calm the hell down. Calm down. You know what that is. Come on now. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Amen. Amen. Calm down. Calm down with expectation. I know yes. God care about me. You can help me. Yes. Something to go down for me. I don't know. I know I ain't finna go out. I ain't going down. Look, ain't nothing crazy. Uh uh. I was in the midst of one time just driving down for them. I'm sure how bad God is. He's so awesome. But I'm conscious of it with me. I practice this. So I'm in, I'm riding down the freeway, and all of a sudden it was snow on the street. We had ice. My lost control of the car. It started sliding everywhere, and the car was going everywhere. Everywhere. But I remember my dad. My dad was a real good daddy to me. So he would talk to me all the time as a kid, take me fishing because I think he thought I was going to be a little boy, but I wasn't. But I ain't never want to be no boy either. Forget that. <laughs> but my daddy just took me with him. I don't know. He had so much kids, but I was the chosen. I get it. So. I say, Andre, if you ever lose, if you lose, turn it like take your feet up off of that, uh, off the gas. And he said, take it off, don't, don't, don't stomp your brake, you gonna slide everywhere. He said, take it up off there, just guide your wheel. So I, in the midst of me doing that, the Holy Spirit is supposed to me, and he said, call my name. I said, Jesus. And that car slid and slid back in order and got in this lane. And I seen it try like it was gonna go go over the meter. That car came down and hit that road, slid down. I said, wait a minute, Jesus. I'm gonna have to get out and pray. <laughs> Take control of that car and sit Amen. it down. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're going to not know God is not real. That God will miraculously oh. do things yeah. for you. Don't act like the children of old. They was crazy. Y'all just seen God feed y'all with manna from him. You seen all kinds of men. You seen Jesus walk the street and raise people out of, uh, from the dead. You seen God heal people, raw arms, and you seen all of this. And then when you got to the Red Sea, and yeah, that would have really kicked it. You thought that would have really kicked it? Come on. They get to the Red Sea, here come their enemies. Man, get in the spirit with your enemy. Here come the enemy, and God just created and opened up the sea and let them pass through and drown the enemy. Okay. But then they're going to get on the other side and start acting a fool and build a cat. Y'all talk about y'all. You are just crazy. I left them. I ain't going with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, don't let people pull you in the crap. Girl, who it is? I ain't doing you with that. Amen. No. I done did it before when my sister and them, before the save, salvation come in, he must have dealt with me already. And he is, because this is a predestined thing mm -hmm. with some folk. Mm -hmm. Some folk. Mm -hmm. 
Listen, they get to acting for we be somewhere party night, and they start doing all that wild crap. I said, oh, man, I'm out of here. <laughs> then we go to the club, and they act, go get in the car and lock all the doors and sit in the car. They be, you I ain't coming out there. Y'all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, I'll be out here when y'all get back. That was their car, so I couldn't drive, so I stayed in the car till they got out. <laughs> Y'all did. Locked all the doors and just stayed in the car till they got out, because I ain't knowing that. You done made me perfect, no, but you gotta have some wisdom. Yeah, so come on now. Carry yourself into craziness. God uh, talking to y'all like this for a reason. Yeah. 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 And take control yeah. over your being. Yeah, yeah read the scripture and say Jesus was uh he was the master of his house. Yeah. He mastered yeah. his being. Yeah. He mastered yes. his yes. spirit, his soul, his body. You learn how to deal with the spirit from your natural body. Did you not know? Check this out. When no, no, yeah, I'm about to run Your brain is in control. It sends signals. Yeah. Before your hand stretch out, your brain doesn't send a signal. Stretch your hand out, and it, and it goes to the brain. See? Each property. And your hand go out because it done got a command. Yeah. And right. you see, it ain't even stopped either. It did it. It, it did it. If you're walking somewhere and you stump your toe, your body's so in sync with one another. Glory to God. Look, girl, see, stop all that old fighting and all that contention. If I stump my toe, guess what? Check this out. That brain gonna say that. Reach down there and help it. It's gonna run up. But them hands gonna reach down there. And all the rest of this body gonna reach down there and try to help that toe and blood. Right, sure. Not kick it off. Get off. You don't need to be with the rest of us. You ain't functioning. No, it reached down there and tried to help it, baby. Yeah. You see somebody in trouble, you ought to be trying to help somebody. Amen. Speak a word, glory to God. Give them, do so some, so some kindness, so some wisdom, so some money. Do some, but don't sit there and act it. Come on, you got to understand. He calls us to function together and every joint surprise. Oh, Good morning, now, faith is well out in the city. Yeah. Yeah. Era. We end in a new era. A new, a old, is it new? It's new already to me. Is it new to y'all? We end in an era coming into another era. Be conscious of what's going on. Live your life intentionally. Be intentional. I'm going out, I'm leaving some old stuff behind, I'm changing, I'm making some new decisions. Y'all ought to be, I know people gonna be partying. Y'all wanna party? Whatever. But here come my other brain. That's his stuff. <laughs> Listen. Did you find it? What time did you keep? You forgot it. Ah, you got it. I promise you, I ain't forgot. You got it. Okay. I got it. But get it back to you miss, I'm gonna pick it up. Get it back to me. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. Amen. Pastor Darrell D. Johnson, Prophet, can we say God bless? God bless. Dr. Sandra Johnson, we welcome you on today. Be intentional going out of this year into a new year. But don't let it just be just a year, we moving and shifting in an era. Be intentional about this. We tapping into another year we ain't never seen before. What you gonna do different than you did last year? What can you do better than you did last year? What can you up your faith? Remember, just check your whole giving out. This year y'all be saying, I'm gonna give at another level. Yeah, I'm gonna give at another level. Don't let me lose yes, you. Don't let me lose you, break your faith. So I'm going to give in another level. Yeah, if you were giving $20 yeah. last year, you need to be up, baby. You need to be at least at 50, 30, something. Don't be 20. 100. Don't be scared. Somebody say, I'm not going to fear. Glory to God. Faith works if you work it. Did you hear what I said? Faith works if you work it. Glory to God. If you keep your faith on this level, then that's where it's going to operate. But if you bring your faith to another level, guess what? The power of it. Because faith is creation of God. It's a substance of God. Come on here. If you would raise it, if you were given an assignment, then it, it'll start making connections with things differently now. 
because you're shifting, your mind is shifting. Your whole system, your whole vibration is shifting. Y'all yeah. better understand yeah. this stuff. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. You getting stuff that people pay and go to school for years and get it. And you sitting up in the room and you can get it. One word coming out of my mouth, coming out of prophet's mouth today to just, 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 uh, just transcend you to a whole new direction. Change your whole life. One. If you don't get all of them, get one. Now I'm going to hear something intentionally. Somebody say intentionally. 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 God. I came here intentionally to hear God. Amen. 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 As much as I live with Prophet and we've been living together 30 some years, I can't even allow myself to get common with him. I have people that live by with me. We, we've been together. She said, Prophet, I seen me and Prophet had something. We had a little, we had a little disputed mama, but I was still on my course. <coughs> Never changed my beat. She said, Mama, I saw you. I said, what you see, girl? trying to act like she ain't seen nothing. But you see, girl, mama, I seen you. You went right over that store and bought that, just like y'all had said nothing. I said, sure you did. I'm on a mission. You don't come off your mission because your feelings, I didn't feel good this morning, but I'm on a mission. I was in the doctor's office last week. They said something to me, and I said, I'm on a mission. It ain't going to be your words. It's going to be mine because you're not the healer anyway. I already know you can't heal me. I didn't even come in here thinking you could heal me. I came in here to get your scientific knowledge to try to give me a earthly understanding of what could be going on. I said, but God got me. I'm healed. I should live and not die and do the works of God. Now, if you sit there with your scary selves and don't say nothing, believe me, Words got spirits connected with it and yes. molecules and yes. things and they begin to start operating and activating in your whole being. Do you understand? We're going to go somewhere and I'll have to come on out here and give it to profit. Listen, what happened with Mary? See, my mind thinks like this. They see me. What happened with Mary that an angel walked up on her? Come on now. And said, you shall conceive a son. A conversation. She got pregnant with a conversation. Woo! <laughs> No, 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 she got pregnant with a woman. Open this window right here. Dang, I need to run. She got pregnant. She had, you can hear a conversation in her whole being got pregnant. It got all up in her DNA. It got in her blood. Everything connected with that, with that angelic word. With that, come on here. With that divine word. Listen, yes. 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 God is a creator. Yes. Come yes. on here. And then he's going to... Make all he is you are. You got to get this, though. You got to get this, though. If you don't, you're going to stay connected to the systematic ways and the knowledge of the world, and that's how you will live. Now, don't worry about who I'm going to receive you. He did. That's just mind-blowing up. He received my uh, filthy self. You better, you better get to running with him. Come on now. Hello. Did she say I'm filthy self? Yeah, yours too. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> He received us as we were. Come on now. Glory to God. You know I'm one of them stretched out crazy kids anyway. I'm like, well, I didn't make me. I didn't know nothing, nothing. So, uh, you know, I'm expecting you to do it then. Amen. I didn't. I ain't asked coming out with her when they did it or nothing. <laughs> I, but then he said, well, wait a minute, since you think you smart, you was here with me all the time. Oh. Oh. Spirit. Mm. And you did, you did open up your mouth and say, I'll go. And I sent you. I said, oh, I ain't like gonna fool with you no more. I'm done. <laughs> so, you know, you know oh, how you now, if you ever want to get your pride cracked, God can do it. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> right, Lord, listen here. We in a new era, and I just want your mind to get pregnant with this truth. Because if your mind get pregnant, then you're going to get your spirit pregnant. And then pretty soon, you're going to have a God baby in the earth. That means you're going to have something designed, uh, created of God. And listen here, and it will be a blessing. It's going to be so blessed, you're going to be so full of it, that other people that connect to you, other people that are around you, if people just hear your voice, if people just see you, can you imagine, they said Peter and them just walking through the city and they shout at you. Can you understand that? Just being in the very proximity of you. Glory to God. The anointing is so powerful and so effective and creative. Look at here. It can reach out. You can just think something. 
and ain't said a word, and boom. Y'all better travel with God some places. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. I would just think some things, and they happen before I didn't say it. So you can't get the glory God. This is all God's glory. Amen. Sometimes you ain't even thought about it. He said, I'll do it before you speak. Thank you, Lord. I said, Woo, wait a minute. So I can just come and pray. I ain't got to go through something. I can just come in and say, mm -hmm. Hello. He can interpret that. Yes. He Amen. can interpret your yeah, yeah. You say, yeah, I know what your ground. I got the interpretation of your ground. I can interpret your too. You not come, don't come up in here without that unbelief. He said, when you come up in here, you come up in here as me. That's right. Come. Come. Bring the word in here. Talk. It's like if you go to court, you better go to court ready or you going to lose. Come on now. You're going to lose. You better make sure you got you a good DA. Because the prosecutors, they work for the state, and all of that is by money, whether you're guilty or not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no matter, money. And they want money too. So so sometimes you're going to have to, you better get wise, so stop giving everybody your money. Amen. Right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Y'all need that today. Amen. 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 So let's get in and stand on. I think we're going to hear from the man of God. Yes. God said he would be here today, and he is, simply because yes. we are here, and he is in us. And I want us to draw from the spirit today. The man of God shouldn't be finishing until you done got what you got came to get. Whatever that is. We need a fresh touch, God, in our being. A fresh touch in our bodies. Yes. Glory, you know what's going on. If you ain't even said nothing, you know, God, we need a touch in our body, a touch in our soul today. We thank you, Father God, that we able, God, to abstract from you this morning. We thank you for even just making it possible because all things are possible with you. We thank you right now, glory to God, that even across this entire universe, that the divine glory is moving and manifesting. You manifesting yourself, God. And we thank you before the sun go down that we see a manifestation and a demonstration of your presence in our life, around our life, with our families, God. And even today, Father God, we just surrender all. Somebody say, do it again, God. Do it, do it again, again, God. Somebody just say, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Get a yes about your spirit. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Hallelujah. And we're not going to try to figure you out. We're going to trust you, Father God. Yes. Because we know, glory to God, that you have our best interest at heart. And you are for us and nothing shall be against us. So, God, this morning, Spirit of God, open up our ears to hear you clearly and open up our hearts. And we thank you for imparting in us, God, what we're about to do, Father, in this next uh, dispensation of life. And we declare and decree that we are the head and not the tail. And we believe in you today for the supernatural. I thank you, Father God, for this ministry moving with signs, wonders, and miracles present. Because, God, you said it and we believe you. And we call it done today. In Jesus' name. Anybody believe that? Say amen. 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 All right, and we're going to put our faith, glory to God, and join our declaration and decree with the man of God that we receive everything that God want to say unto us today. Can we say it together in one accord? God bless. God bless. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Someone say, I'm too royal. I'm too royal. To live like a slave. To live like a slave. I want you to say that again. Thank you. I'm too, too royal. royal. I'm too royal. To live like a slave. Yes, I am. Too royal. Too royal. It's in the Jewish place in Kings. Yes. My assignment in the earth is to raise your assignment or your your mentality mm -hmm. to come into my presence. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Everyone is given an assignment. Mm -hmm. If I don't change change your thinking, I haven't done my job. Mm -hmm. Sister Margot told me something concerning the hotel this morning. And just keep standing, I'm gonna be standing along with you. Mm -hmm. We we we're gonna have to uh, look at trip to England. Amen. 
because I'm endeavoring to pastor a church that understands the Lord. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. Bring me your, give me, give me your purse. Give me your purse. Give me your purse. Mm -hmm. I already got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> For demonstration, there are certain protocols to royalty. If you would go to Buckingham Palace and you were talking to the Queen and say, Sister Kimberly, you walked up. You walked, this is demonstration. To all you out there, this is demonstration. Demonstration. And I'm talking to you, or you're talking to me. And as the queen or king, if I got tired of your conversation, the purse would move to the right hand. Mm. The subject would come and remove you. Mm -hmm. Because when, when the purse goes to the right hand, that means that the queen is through with the conversation, mm -hmm. right. even if you don't understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, understand. Amen. See, there, there, there are certain things. See, see, see let me show you There are certain protocols, and when you're a person of means and value and of greatness, you can't waste time. Because if I waste time with someone that don't, don't understand time, I just given your time away. See, you hear it now? Nothing. See, does anybody hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Time is wisdom. Time is knowledge. Yes, Package in time is understanding. Yes, it is. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Yes. See, see, just a moment you got in the wrong thought, mm -hmm. but in another moment you can get into the right thought. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -huh. It's time when timing and thoughts come together. Mm -hmm. They either bring a digression or a promotion. Mm -hmm. You're not hearing nothing I'm saying. Jesus. Did anybody, did any young people catch that? Yes. Did any young kid? See, that's why you can't waste time. Just keep trying. You'll be, trust me, you'll be fine. <laughs> Because you're going to be in a standing situation in 2020. See. God going to get you off your butt and on your feet. Amen. Oh. Let me say that again. Do you're going to move from a six. Number six represents flesh. Mm. Number nine represents spirit. How, what is different from a six and a nine? The six is on his butt. The nine shows the head. It's a reversal. So I say it's a reversal. It's a reversal. I promise you. That you, I woke up. And you probably was sleeping, and got text, and I was ordering uh, some some text to be sent. And some people are sending prophetic messages because I want you to understand this: you are not just leaving another year. Right. You're not ending another year, but you're ending a decade. Mm -hmm. oh. You didn't think about that, did you? Oh. You're ending a decade. Night nine, after nine, you start over. You're oh. ending a decade. More than just a year. Yeah. You, you cannot go with the mentality that you had yes. for the last 10 years. I want you to examine yourself and see if you live it at the God level. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is your money at the God level? No. I'm anointed and blessed to say what I'm saying today. Yes, I need nothing from you but to you to obey God. Amen. 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 Holy God. Now examine your last 10 years. Look over the blueprint of your life. Are you where you want to be? No. What have you accomplished? Have you wasted time or have you gained momentum? Have you lost momentum? Keep standing. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Glory to God. It, it, I promise you, if you catch this today, you'll be able to say like, like Peter and James, look on us. Ha! Yes, indeed. Yes. And when you say, look on us, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about you're going to see the young flesh. Yeah. Oh. This place is going to happen in 2020 that you're going to be, a conversation won't be needed, just your arrival. Oh, oh, right. 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 If you want to die right. here, I need you to leave now. Mm -hmm. I need you to cut me off because... I can't carry dead weight in this oh, season. No. If you want to dodge me, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait a few minutes. Yeah. I'm going to go back here and drink. I want you to leave. Yeah. If, if, if you don't plan to follow this message, you need to leave. You need to cut me off. Yes, I'm, I'm here on a sign. See, some people chase, chase quantity, yeah. but they don't chase quality. Please, oh, please. Oh. Some of your life is where it is right now because you're always chasing quantity. 
you don't go after quality. Ooh, that's awesome. And you want to handle God any kind of way. Any kind. You want to give him the leftovers of your time. Whatever. You want to struggle in the presence of a king when you get ready. Ooh. You'll get killed. Okay, okay. This is an average message. Come on here. I promise you, when this get in your spirit, it's it's gonna it's gonna be like an, an, an epidemic. It, it's gonna be courageous. It's gonna spread. Sister Mark told me something, and she said there's gonna be an increase in price. And and I told her, I said, you know what? That's good. That sounds like somebody with vision. You can't fight nobody want to advance. Right. Why are you trying to pray down something? Somebody trying to pray up something. Right. Sister Kelly, you get ready to sell your house. Come on, you believe in to, to, to get more out of it than you, than you bought it for, right? Somebody praying that you decrease. Wait a minute. But this ain't the house for you. Right. Then maybe that's down the street. It's not this one. Mm -hmm. There's a key thing called more and this thing called much. Come on now. Mm. Come on now. Look at this You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. See, you, you've been on the sidelines of life. Letting life live you. Instead of you living life. But whatever, whatever that situation say, you obey it. But in the kingdom, nothing rules but what, what the king says. Come on now. Are you following what I'm saying? Circumstances don't run the kingdom. Excuses don't run the kingdom. Tell you What you need to tell your excuse is, excuse yourself. You won't be needed in 2020. You won't be a part of the vision. Right. Is anybody here that? Yes, sir. I'm about to hear what I'm saying. Yes, sir. You rock walk around locked up in your yesterday. You locked up in your past. You're a prisoner of your past. Mm -hmm. Is anybody hearing this? Mm -hmm. Is anybody yes. hearing this? Yes. Things keep happening to you the same thing because the cycle's not broken. Oh. You keep doing the same thing, wanting new results, but you're doing this because it's comfortable. Just keep standing. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You didn't sit in that mess long enough. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. All right. Amen. I, I, you know what? I, I know it's I know, I know it's not a popular world. Popular world. Mm, 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 come here, come yes. here, come here, sister. Come here right quick. Come here, come here, come here right quick. Come here right quick. Come here right quick. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every part, every organ in our body. And command it every muscle and command it to come subject in the name of Jesus. I break up every infirmity. From 10 years back, I curse it at the root in the name of Jesus. I speak to high blood pressure. I speak to sinuses. See, 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 there won't be no health issues. God, you would counsel some of hey! and, and it's some medications that they want to give you. Ain't going to be. And just hold up. Hold up when you get this. Don't go. Because God, you ready to hope you up in the name of Jesus. Let me see your glasses. Yay, Papi. 2020 vision. Eh. Clarity. No dead weight in this season. No dead weight. I hear God say, come out and don't look back. Hallelujah. You got a great assignment in 2020. Let me preach because I keep prophesying to you. My spirit, I've been dealing with you all morning. Thank you. Oh, shut up. You got to free yourself of yesterday. You got to free yourself of yesterday. You keep trying to, to judge everything from a human standard and you're a king. And human thinking will give you human results. Nothing can happen supernaturally in a human situation as long as you're thinking human. Have a seat. 
there's more to life than you've been living. I said there's more to life than you've been living. There's more to life than you've been living. God never create, God will never send you somewhere where provision is not. He will never assign you to a place where provision is not. He will never give you an idea, a dream, where provision is not. Come on now. But he must have you thinking like he think. Is anybody hearing this here? Yes, amen. See, 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 you can't handle, you can't handle stay with this, but I got your word, I got your word. You can't handle faith like a seesaw. Come on now. You know the, the faith a few weeks ago that did that? You know what I'm talking about the car? Did you know that that faith, you can build on that faith and obtain anything that you want? Do you understand that? Do you do you do you see how supernaturally, in spite of what all you you said and, and thought and whatever, you see how God overrode all of that? Because you came in agreement with the prophet's word. You were given a word and a rhythm, and you moved in that rhythm. The word was go, not do this, but, and you respect when you get to do this. The miracle is in the instruction. Amen. Would you write that out? Would you write that out? The miracle is in the instruction. Whenever God is trying to get you to another level, he's going to give you a prophetic instruction. He's going to get, and the instruction may be uncomfortable. The instruction may come against the odds. Is anybody hearing this here? God will never give you an assignment where it makes you comfortable. God will never give you an assignment where you feel like, okay, God, I got it now. If you ever get to a place where you feel like you got it, you lost it. <laughs> Is anybody, oh, you hear me, brother, why? Is anybody hearing this here? You must divorce yesterday. You must divorce 10 years that you didn't progress. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Do, do, do you understand that, that wherever you at right now, you control that? Did that, did that wasn't the devil, that was you? Came in agreement with, with a situation? That was you? But uh, well, you don't understand, they won't do it. That's still you? Because where you don't take your authority, it takes its authority. Whatever your it is. Whatever you don't speak, it speaks. And the last one speaks is what show up. Because the universe is, is, is mutual. A, a neutral, what I meant to say, is neutral. You want to say that? Jesus. You cannot afford to move forward in non-production. I don't care how young you are, whatever you give attention to, that will what you that's what's gonna answer you in the day of need is whatever you give attention to. Whatever you whatever whatever you put, let me show you something. You wanna know what you value in life? What do you use most every day? Then that's your value. Whatever however you think, however you operate. I don't care what you label yourself as. Whatever comes in use the most in your life, that's what you value. That's all you can offer life. That's all you can offer yourself. Is anybody hearing this? Are anybody hearing this here? You cannot afford to go another year, another decade like you've been. If you are hearing this word, God is saying it is more to you than you do it. It is more to you than you live it. Some of you in here, are, and even out there, it's on wrong assignments. You're in wrong places. You're putting your money wrong places. You're sowing wrong places. Do you, do you, do you, baby, do you know, uh, do you know everything you try to help things for to help? Do, 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 you, do you understand, do you understand that sometimes people be interfering with God. Mm, you, you try, God don't need your help. How long God been talking to that person? 
Ooh, Lord, now, now, now you sowing seed into bad ground. And you wonder what the hell is going on because you sowing it here. Because you make an emotional decision. I'm going to do the crime, but you're going to pay the fine. Well, I got to pay my bills. And that's why more keep coming because they're being multiplied. Whatever you sow multiplies. Okay. All right. Oh, I, I, I ain't got into the word yet. I just was appetizer. Just trying to get your attention. I'm trying to get your, I'm trying to get your attention. I'm trying to get your attention. Let me tell you something. Ten years be done passed again. And if you don't hear this word, you'll be in the shame say ten years from now. Living from pillar to post. Making nip. You a, you a king eating crumbs. I didn't say the word said you kings of kings and lord of lords. Who are you talking to? He said, you're king of kings. He said, I'm king of kings and lord of lords. Who would that be? Who would that be? You talking about, God said, I'm king of kings and lord of lords. Who are you talking to? Wouldn't that be you? Wouldn't that be you? Wouldn't that be you? Wouldn't that be you? I'm king of kings. Baby, that ain't a scripture. That's prophetic. That's life. See, we take everything like this is a little Bible story. The book is written of you. He said, whoa, I come in the volume of the book, for it's written of me. Who's me? You. As he is, so are you. Amen. Everything God is, so are you. Amen. Oh, I know you. Okay, see, we, can, we have a problem getting with that, but we can believe it. I, I'm, man, I'm, I'm Jordan. I'm going to be Jordan. I'm going I'm to be there. I'm going to be, you know, we start naming ourselves the people. I know. Wow. We, 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 we can, and God made the people. Wow. As he is. All that God is, you are. God, watch this here, watch this here, watch this here. Now, I, I told you before, Sister Kimmy, God will never send you nowhere where he becomes unnecessary. But can I tell you something else? God will never send you nowhere where you become unnecessary. All right. Let that symbol look in. Let that symbol look in. See, I, 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 I don't care how it look. If God got you in the place, it's for a reason. Joseph went to the dungeon, but it was for a reason. They thought it was a promote, a demotion, but it was, it was a promotion. Amen. Hmm? Amen. While the others was going to the palace, they sent Joseph to the dungeon to be a prisoner. Mm -hmm. But but what's it? Just cause you change my environment don't mean you're gonna change me. Right. Hmm, you can't stop in the mouth. Oh. Just because oh. you put me in a hole, you can't change my name. Mm -hmm. on, my name is still my name. Just because you don't call me by the, my, my name don't mean that ain't my name. You just don't know my name. Come on now. As long as I hold on to my identity, I hold on to my value. Mm, you'll get that one. Wow. Huh? You call me out of my name, I call me in my name. <laughs> Hello. Jesus. Is anybody hearing this? Is anybody hearing this? Are you hearing are you, are you Jesus? This work for young folks. We had time we were talking about Joe as the king at seven years old. Oh. Burning out the womb, running the country. Come on. You don't hear nothing I say. Yes. Come on. Burning out the womb, barely walking good, but running fast. Yeah. Say. Wow. Huh? Uh, Glory to God. Wow. Are you follow what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, yeah. Huh? And, and let me show you this for, for, for a thought. And you know what? You can be dressed up and still have a poverty spirit. Just because you look successful, you can be broke as hell looking successful. Yeah, come on now. Amen. Because you got a lust on, but you ain't got a revelation on. Well, dressed up spirit. Because when we hear you talk, we know that there's not a match. Come on now. Jesus. You got on Gucci, but you sound like a boss. Come on now. You weaken the nation every time you speak. The nation have a discharge when you speak. Unpairness come out of you when you speak. Shiver in the spirit. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. 2020 will be a year of clarity. What I just said? 2020 will be a year of clarity. If you miss it, you, if you fall in the ditch in 2020, it's because you wanted to fall in the ditch. How you gonna fall in the ditch with bifocals on? How you gonna fall in the ditch with HDs? Ooh, come on now. Wait a with clarity. clarity. Come on now. Huh? When, when, when it's close up to you. Mm -hmm. 
Even see, see, you, you ever went to them uh, 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 movies where they have the HDs yeah. and, 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 and everybody that's seen it looks far away, but 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 see, like you can just reach out and it, it, it comes to you. Yeah. See, that's what faith do. That's what, what your faith do. Boom. Faith brings it to you and say, reach for it. Boom. Oh, wait a minute. Reach for it. See, there's some things coming in 2020 going to come in HD. Reach for it. Grab it. And God said, just take it. It's close now. Thank you, Lord. You know what I'm saying? God said, it's close now. God said, it's close now. You ain't getting on my seat. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you, you. God got too much for you. He got too much for you. You think it's about, it wasn't about the hair. God trying to get you off of, in an anointing when you walk in my house. It ain't about the hair. <laughs> That's just bait. <laughs> That's just bait. You know the sit you sit in every time. You sit there. That's why I sit. Mm -hmm. When you're not there. Mm -hmm. Every time you can look, when you come and you sit in that same seat, that's why I sit. Mm -hmm. And you just came and sit there. No one told you to sit there. You sit there. You know why you sit there? Because you belong there. Mm -hmm. Double portion. Mm -hmm. Transformation. Yeah, All the pieces going to come together. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Go to Genesis. Oh. Genesis 1. God give, God give, God give Adam number commandment. He said, be fruitful yeah. and multiply. Someone say, be fruitful and multiply. Be, be fruitful, fruitful and multiply. multiply. Now, how are you going to multiply without seed? Yeah. So if I if I got to be fruitful, I gotta be seedful. Yeah. But I'm just saying. I got to be fruitful. I got to be seedful. Someone say seed come from seed. Seed come from seed. That's why it multiplies. Apple seed, the seed is in the apple. The seed is in the fruit, and the fruit is in the seed. It's all one. You don't pray financial increase. Only thing increase you is your seed, is your giving. Only thing that, that interrupts your life when, when some God's trying to do something different is a, is a prophetic seed. Say with me, say with the Spirit. See, there's a place, watch this here, there's a place where God gives his divine instruction. There's a place that you talked about this morning, probably. there's a place at home, there's a place where you must be to get what God wants you to have. I want you to, I want you to, what I just said. There's a place where you're supposed to be to get what you want from God. There is a place. God created you with a purpose. Come on, come on, come on. Now don't fool with me now. Come on, Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the thoughts I have of you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. To give you an expected end or a future or a hope. Did, 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 we, did we hear did we hear that? Do we do we hear that? Yeah. See, if it look ugly right now, that ain't the end of the story. You, we're gonna flip the page in a minute. We're gonna flip the page. <laughs> There's a new wisdom that's coming to you. Sister Kim. There is a divine wisdom. There's a spirit, woman of God, that don't want you to arrive where God is taking you, but you will arrive. 2020 will be a favorable year with, with you. Are you hearing what I'm saying, woman of God? Yes. You're going to literally step in the wall, right place, and it ain't going to be about what you say. It's what's going to start saying to you. It's going to start talking to you. Yes, indeed. Listen to this, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. Look at Genesis 2 8. Stay with me, stay with the spirit. You're about to get blessed right quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you got talked into it, I'm going to talk you out of it. Let me say that again. Somebody talk you into it, I'm going to talk you out of it. Somebody talk you into that frame of thought. Somebody got you thinking like you're thinking. Come on here. See, the problem is you're asking for the wrong thing. You ain't asking for enough. Oh. Your vision too small. Oh. 
You hear nothing I say. Your vision too small. You got enough your vision. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. oh, I, you, you ain't got to get this. I know if you're going to get with me. You're going to get with me. I, I said to God, you wake up at 3 something. I, I know somebody hearing me. Mm -hmm. And you business, man, I got your word too. It's three of you. Uh -huh. Does God been dealing with you? I'm talking right now, right there in this camera, and you've been looking at me uh, over a year. Three of you. Three businessmen. Mm. And, and, and here's the deal. Here's the deal. The, your struggle is, is he 501C? My question to you is, can you see? Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> because God told the three of you to sow a million dollar seed, the three of you. And your struggle has been, we don't know if he's 501 seed. I want to know, can you see and can you hear? Come on now. <laughs> and you know how to connect and you know how to get to me. But when you sow the seed, you're going to see the business go to a whole nother level. This prophet's crazy. No, you crazy. <laughs> hmm? Amen. You know, right now, watch this here. <coughs> the government don't even respect no more your taxes. They don't even respect what you give in the church no more. You can't even use it. Mm -hmm. It brings no credit to you. It brings nothing to you. Did y'all know that? Mm -hmm. Where about what do I want their receipts? <laughs> it don't mean nothing. So that's garbage. Go to it with your taxes. I gave X number of dollars last year. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. You owe us now this amount. Mm -hmm. Where you should could deduct, don't deduct nothing now. Mm -hmm. And when it was, I told him, I said, what's not glad? I said, because some people really won't give because they were both the IS going to give them. Right. But the word don't say nothing about IS in here. It say, I, come on, Second Corinthians, uh, uh, what is it, 2-9? Uh, uh, I give seed to the sower and, and bread to the eater, and uh -huh. that that sown is multiplied. Yeah. Huh? Amen. So when you say you don't have it, if you wrap your face around it, he say, I give seed to the soul. All right. And bread to the eat, and that is and that that's sown. And that that's sown. And that that's sown. Do, do, do you know you can walk around with seed in your pocket and you can have vegetable seed this morning, you could cook, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Brother Why? But what about if you go to Kroger today and buy all the seed? Mm -hmm. That's my potato seed, corn seed, all these seeds. You got them in your pocket. Now you, now you got the product, but can you eat it? No. You may be in the hospital. Go for some salt, not in all, on, 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 and eat it mm -hmm. uh, for, for lunch. And we'll, we'll see you in the, in the, in the mercy room by, by 10 tonight. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you're full of seeds that you shouldn't eat. Yeah. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. See, you walk around eating stuff that you shouldn't be eating. Right. <laughs> You holding on to what you should let go. Right. You trying to see your problem is you ain't broke. You eating seed. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Okay. It, that is about feeling like that. That ain't got nothing to do with your finances. Okay. And I know it's gonna get quiet because you know what, brother. Tell me. <coughs> People will let you. They'll let you. Genesis. Let you pray about their finances, but they won't let you teach about giving. But but you can pray for. I want you to pray for me to catch a fish. But I want you to teach me. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Huh? See, see, I'm going to show you. Look how God, I'm going to show how God set up Adam here. God will never put you nowhere where he hasn't already designed for you to take charge. You hear that? I said. So give us this little. God will never put you nowhere where your authority won't work. Hmm. Somebody get that tomorrow. I said, Sister Kim, God will never put you somewhere where your authority won't work. Only time your authority don't work, you ain't working your authority. Mm -hmm. You know, Brother Wise? Mm -hmm. God will never put you somewhere where your authority don't work. You hear me, Sister John? Yes, I am. Huh? Amen. You keep letting stuff talk to you. Yeah. Okay, can we go here right quick? Yes. Go right quick. Y'all you, you, you remember the story about the fig tree? Mm -hmm. And Jesus passed mm -hmm. the fig tree. And, and the word of God said, it was not the season of figs. What's it say? It was not the season of figs. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want you to hear this. It was not, I want you to look at everybody, look at me. 
Jesus passed the fig tree. Everybody look at me. Look at you. Let go of your hair, let go of your chin. Leave your chin like nothing there. You ain't got enough further to leave your chin around the ball yet. It was not the season for figs. Jesus cursed the fig tree because it didn't have no figs. But that's crazy. It ain't time. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. It wasn't time. But Jesus cursed the, the fig tree. Let me tell you why. Because the authority that Jesus walked in, because he watches it. When Jesus, you know what I say, Jesus was the son of man? So Jesus walked in the earth as a man filled with the Holy Spirit yeah. before his disciples. Right. And he was exercising his authority that we had. Uh -huh. So when he passed by the fig tree to try to limit him to seasons, he cursed it because he took his authority and said, I don't have to have nothing according to season. Yeah. At my present, you should have known what you should have produced. <laughs> what I just, what I just tell you a while ago, this is the season in 2020 where you just going to show up and they don't know that he's here this week. And this is about to get to you. You to but you'll just show up and something to go down because it's your present. Because when you're walking under the authority of Jesus Christ, when you're walking under the authority of God, you don't have to respect season. Come on now. Ooh. Is anything? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. For, for you people to think, it's I'm 80, I'm 90, I'm a who now? I'm a who? I'm a who now? I'm tired. It's been a long time. You don't know what I've been through. I don't care what you've been through. You've been through. You in one way. The word through me in one way and out the other. Come on now. Hallelujah. Is anybody here? Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Faith don't discriminate. The impossible don't discriminate. Did y'all get what I just said? Huh? In other words, when Jesus passed that fig tree, he cursed it. He said, now you know me and you communicate. Now you know you should have me some fruit. You know when I show up, you should have been producing. Yeah. Come on now. Boom. Because that was the first commandment he gave me. Be fruitful. Yeah. And yes. Is anybody hearing this here? Who am I talking to? And to be fruitful, you gotta be seedful. Yeah. Come on now. <clears throat> see, see you praying about stuff you should be doing. Um, Amen. Come on in. Holding on to nothing. You ever seen people hold on to nothing? Mm -hmm. You ever seen people hold on to nothing? You ever seen people think you ripping them off they ain't got nothing? You know, come on, some of y'all know what I'm talking about right now. You never met me and thought you were doing something to them and they got crumbs? You, you, you know, they're wearing the hell out of you and you ain't. Okay, what? You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. What you putting your prayers up for? You better leave it by me. I may put some in it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a blessed man. I'm a blessed man. I'm a blessed man. When I walk in the Mercedes house, all of them come out the office. Because they don't know what move I'm going to make. He's either bringing somebody or something getting ready to go down. See, see. Your presence start meaning something. Come on here. When you walk in the bank and, and, and you got five other people before you and people hollering to count of your name, your presence start meaning something. Mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson, we be right with you. I made them out like everybody else. <laughs> Why she got my name? <laughs> because my name holds value. My name holds value. See what I'm saying? Huh? What you couldn't do with your name, I can do with mine. Is anybody hearing this? Uh huh. I had a realtor wrote me the other day and said, My whole life has changed because of you. My economy has changed because of you. I didn't know about a house. But it triggered something. Oh, Jesus. You sold it to the right one, baby. I command you be blessed. Amen. I command you be blessed. I command you be blessed. I command hell back up off your life. I command it. If I'm your prophet, I got the anointing to go in hell and snatch you out and put you on a street called straight. Did you want to just say it? I got an anointing that can grab you out of hell and put you in a heavenly place. 
Yes. Whenever God wanted to make transition with people in, in, in the Bible, he brought a prophet. Yes, whenever, whenever things were, were diminishing and, and folding and inspiring, yes, God didn't send the pastor, he didn't send the apostle, he didn't send the evangelist, he sent the prophet. Amen. But it don't work when you don't honor the prophet. Hey, come on. I don't strive with people. I don't strive with people that don't. See, see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There's a difference in respect and honor. Yeah. Those are two different words. Respect, you got to earn. Right. Honor, you give. Uh -huh. You get that tomorrow. You get that tomorrow. You get that tomorrow. Huh? Is anybody hearing this? Is anybody hearing this here? I want all of you to check your bank accounts when you leave here. And write down whatever figures in there. If you follow my prophetic instruction today, you won't see that figure no more. Amen. 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 See what happens, and I was telling probably who was I telling? I was I telling you? Who was I telling this? I was telling, I was talking to somebody, I talking to so many people. I was talking to somebody this morning. And, and see what see what happens, Sister Kimberly? We'll do an act of faith up here. And then we get emotional and we'll drop here. But if, but but if you stay right in the zone of the faith that got the last miracle, that spirit will take you from faith to faith. Y'all uh -huh. y'all will hear what I'm just saying, Sister so, Kim. You know that faith that got you. To, that was your faith. Got you the house. That was your faith. God gave you the measure of your faith. When your faith changed, the house gonna change. Watch this here. You planted a seed to the margins for that house. So the seed yield according to what you believe. All right. Now, when you sow another seed, it'll look like something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just said. Right. Huh? Huh? That seed can only produce that. God don't look at your money, he looks at your faith. And, 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 your, and, and according to your faith, your measure is, is your measure is given. From the faith you operate. What is the measure? The measure is your harvest. Let me, let me show you something else. Let me go here right quick. God is the Lord of your harvest. Not the Lord of your seed. Come on now. Let me say that again. Let me say that again. I see some squirming. I said that. Mm. I see some shifting going on when I said that. Let me say it again. I, I, I didn't fall. Kick over the same account. God is the Lord of your harvest. You are the Lord of your seed. Because I give seed to someone. You, that's your, so, so, so as a man gives according to his measure, a man gives according as he purposed or as he decides. How does he decide? By the measure of his faith. You're the Lord of your seed. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Let me go here right quick. When you go into Macy's, do you pray and ask God, can you buy that if you're a Mason? Wherever you go. Because some people get, I don't shop in Macy's. But you may need to. <laughs> well, I'm looking at you, may, I, I may refer them. Mm -hmm. Those are the key people. So I, sometimes I get challenged in the spirit, I got to throw the shade up. You know, I'm still here. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You give according as you decide. You decide according to your faith. You make the decision. As soon as you change the decision, everything about you is going to change. When you're looking for the job, why can you go sell another? You decided not to. You didn't want to. I've never seen people complain about something. Well, why are you there? You knew when you fell on the application, you didn't pay enough money. That's what's confusing to me. <laughs> I'm going to get another job. He's going to get another job with the same amount of money. Well, I don't have no experience. They didn't either until they did something. I told one guy one time, I, I said, he said, well, I'm I said, well, stop crying for those girls. Go do one that, that you've never even done before. Tell them I'm going to sell myself. So give me five days to sell myself. Give me 30 days to sell myself. Mm -hmm. 
You know a man got hired on a job he didn't know what to do? He sold himself. You ain't got nothing I say. Huh? See, see, you, you, you got to get radical. I tell you what, sir, let me work for you 10 days. But you ought to be looking for a job 10 days for nothing. At least what, come, what can come out of this job. If you're looking for a job, I, I may be talking to entrepreneurs. Is anybody hearing this here? No. I, I want to talk to some next level thinkers. I want, to talk, I, I want to talk to next level thinkers. I ain't not trying to deal with church people because the child, the church people here with all, and most of them broke. Because I didn't want to do half church and get a brown envelope and put nothing in there that of faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> put what they can afford. Oh, wow. I can afford. And your life look like you can afford that. Mm -hmm. Anybody hearing this? Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to church you. I'm trying to get you changed. Amen. Come on, man. It's time for you to rule and reign. Everybody ain't coming up in here. Do you know you got a calling to go to Samaria? You got calling in the marketplaces? Mm. Did you know you were born with a purpose? You weren't just born to come to church and fall on the floor and cover up with a sheet and give tithes and offerings and wonder how in hell you're going to make it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh come on here. <laughs> can, 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 can I say what people won't say? You give it, but you're tall, your tithes bald here. <laughs> you give it, but you need a boost when you get out of church. That ain't, that ain't God. That's the devil. Mm -hmm. It's the devil in you. Anybody hear this here? Mm -hmm. See, some point in this here, you have to step out and do something different. Yes. Some point you got to say, enough is enough. Yes. Some point you got to think, feel like, I don't need all this on mine. Mm -hmm. When you going to do you? When you going to do you? When you going to do you? Point to yourself. Say, when I'm going to do me? When I'm going to do me. Can I tell you something? Ain't nobody going to let you unless you break here. <laughs> you know what I'm just saying? Yes. You gotta, you gotta kick. The, this is the seat to kick the door in. Bam! I'm not knocking. I'm, I'm kicking. I'm drop kicking the door. Bam! 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 Right. <laughs> what a jail. When they don't invite you to the party, you throw one. Amen. All right. All you right. throw it. You throw it. Amen. You want to invite me? I throw my own. Right. Well, we ain't see again. We you ain't got many people as I have. But see, I'm going to show you, me and God are one man show. Oh. I'm in the same building you in. Beverly oh, Hills, Hills, and right down the hall. <laughs> Don't get stuck on, on quantity. Get stuck on the quality place. Are you in the place of God? Are you in the, see, see, by being in the place of God, things are going to happen for you. Things are going to change because you're in the place of God. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me give you a word. Kings don't act broke because they ain't broke. Come on now. Stop talking price. The problem with some of you talk price too much. That's too high. And that's why you don't get it because you're too high. That's too high. What's too good for you? What's too good? That's stupid. What's too good? Girl, that's high. No, it's your mentality. No, bro. Oh, man, I can't afford that. Well, you just said it. And you won't afford it. Mm -hmm. Is anybody hearing this? Anybody, anybody hearing this? Here? You better wake yourself up. And, and hear this. Because this stuff you got to divorce as you move forward. Now, watch this here. Watch this here. Genesis uh, 2 and 8. Now, in the, the Genesis 2 8, it said, The Lord God planted a garden in Eden, and there he placed the man whom he had formed. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did he do? Talk, I need some feedback. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, and there he, and there he placed man. Notice he put the provision there before he put the man. Come on now. Uh -huh. He planted everything he was need. He planted it before he put, brought the man there. See. And he said, and he formed them in the midst of the stuff. 
Is anybody here in this city? Yes, Amen. Sir. Is anybody here in this city? See, there's a place called there. Mm -hmm. I preached a word many, many years ago. You may remember, Sister John, mm -hmm. driven to a place called, called there. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If God can just get you from there to there. there. Come on now. <coughs> Amen. All right. Yes, sir. Is anybody here in this city? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. See, it's, it, 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 it's that there that's kicking your butt. But if God can get you from there to there. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you can get comfortable with that there till you don't want to move to there. Because mm -hmm. we're comfortable with nothing. We want to hold on to nothing. Are we here? Are you Mrs. Kidding? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. He said, in the Lord God, in the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, and there he formed the man. Everything that he would need. Everything, and blew in him the breath of life. Blew in him his image. Blew in him his mind, his spirit. Mm -hmm. And said, take authority. Yes. I want you to work your mind. I'm, I'm giving you power of attorney to be me. <coughs> I want you to treat earth like I treat heaven. If heaven got it, you got it. And I can hear some flesh going, yeah, right, prophet. But you don't know. No, what you don't know is kicking your butt. Hmm. That's, what, that, that's what's kicking your butt. It's what you don't know. Hosea 4 and 6 say, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because they reject the truth. Come on now. The first thing you need coming into 2020 is wisdom and knowledge. Yes. You cannot afford to have the same, same stinking thinking you had the last 10 years or the last year. Uh -huh. Come on now. You can't afford to, to walk in that same stock, same frame of mind, losing. Amen. And then you want to carry the folks down with you. Right. Come on now. Anybody hearing this? Yes, Anybody hearing this? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Kings don't think broke. Come on now. I said kings don't think broke. Amen. Right. right. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you know? You know, I was studying about a farmer. Do you know, Sister Kimberly, when you sow seed, when a farmer sow seed, in three days it begins to metamorphose underground. He don't see it, but something's happening. There's a process going on that he can't see, but yet got to believe. Because he keep water, coming back water and nothing. But well, look like nothing, but something's happening on the ground study. In three days, the, the seed began to metamorphose. It began to change. It began to take on some, some type of form. Do you know when you when you sow prophetically, something happens in the realm of the spirit? Right, you hear nothing I said. Something happens in the realm of the spirit. Yes. Yes. Lord, Lord. And what God God looks at the at the faith wrapped around your seed. Yes. Yes, Are we hearing this here? Yes. Are we hearing this here? You'll be surprised, sister, what you can do when you have to do it. Is anybody here in this mm -hmm. You'll be surprised what you have to do when you have to do it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we said one time somebody's son went to jail and they needed $2,000 for a bond. How did they get $2,000 for a bond? Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised what you do when you place the value on it. I remember, I remember one time, I won't call her name, but, but, but someone asked my wife, will, will we put up our house? Oh, I'll tell you. You did? Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah. That's when we put up our house for, they, for their, uh, and my wife was pretty straightforward. Well, I'm afraid that won't be happening. Jesus is in the jail. He's in the pen, too. I said, oh, God down there, too. He got down there. He got down there. Mm -hmm. See, you can't afford to be emotional. Mm -hmm. Emotional. Come mm -hmm. on. And do, do emotional. Now, you give her to send seeds the wrong direction. Right. Right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, God may be telling me to sow to you because something's getting ready to happen in 72 hours. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm over here in my emotions, showing the bubble head, showing the bubble head, who are always doing stuff. Mm -hmm. You hear me before you went down there. I talked to you before you went. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This was a family member. Mm -hmm. You can, see, when you work for your money, right? Yes, Whatever you do for your money, you work for it. Huh? And so you need to know what you're sowing. See, watch this here, watch this here. This is kidding. A seed is an, you're not, a seed is an investment. You have somebody invest, they watch what they invest in. They'll invest in every stock because it's a stock. Come on right. now. When, when they said they love the Lord, they say, I heard them say Jesus. Sure. I, they say just after I was going to give, they said Jesus. Maybe you'd be broken every time you say Jesus. Mm -hmm. <coughs> listen, 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 listen. Go to go. Are y'all sure with me? Y'all sure? Come on with it. Because you got it. You got to. You got to divorce where you've been. Oh yeah. In order to marry where you're going. Mm -hmm. You get that tomorrow. You got to divorce where you've been. To marry where you're going. You got the boss where you be. Tweet, tweet. Yeah. I labor for that, don't you? Don't you stick your name under there? Huh? Come on, come on, come on now. Come on, come on, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Uh huh? See, see, see. When Israel went into Canaan, I'm going somewhere now. I'm already working on you. I'm already in your you know, I'm already in your economy. I'm already in you. I'm tearing I'm some stuff down. I'm tearing, I'm, I'm tearing some stuff, stuff down. Yes, indeed. See, and watch it. Don't you what the enemy doing. How you get your money? He's stealing your time. Yes, he do. <laughs> on clocks, you don't belong, God. Mm. Places, you don't. He's stealing your time. If I can rob your time, I can rob your money. If I can, if I can get your time out of rhythm, I'll get your money out of rhythm. You ain't hearing nothing I say. Somebody, somebody gonna hear this anointing. No. Somebody gonna hear this. Not on the receipt. They gonna hear this anointing and get free. Then he's stealing your time. You putting all that time into that, and you ain't getting nowhere. You ain't getting, you can further and further behind, you lose it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call this spirit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call this spirit. Yeah. Because if I can get your money, I can disrupt your whole life. I can make your whole life miserable. Miserable if I can paralyze your finances. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, yes. okay. So you think you think that can't help? You think the enemy can't sweep that? So that's what he tried. If I can get up in your head and get your see your your money is most of y'all's money is going in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. Could be one hundred. You putting your money on credit cards that charge you one day after you late they charge you thirty five dollars plus a late fee, and that's why you don't get out of them because you're late on it. One day, mm -hmm. you think it's big to have all the credit cards. You don't need that. You just need favor, baby. Favor wipe up all them credit cards. Are you, here? Are, you, are you with me, sister? You, you, you with me? You with me? Mm -hmm. Now, 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 now I'm going to tell you something. You, you getting ready to move. I'm talking to you, prophetic. You getting ready to move into a new thought pattern. Yes, and everybody ain't going to like you coming into 2020. Because they, they, they going to see you thinking different about some certain moves you're going to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God getting ready to bless you so they're going to think you're illegal. Hmm. You just hear what I just said? Amen. God given to bless you, so they're going to think you illegal. They're going to think you're doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And tell them, think on. Think on. I was laid with that. I, I was at the church one time, man. I, I, you know, I wanted to praise God, but I was kind of embarrassed too. <coughs> but a woman of God many, many years ago, she said, um, Let me man to God. God to bless you, so they're going to think you illegal. <laughs> and you know what? I've been really questioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, well, just follow me around. I can't help if people want to bless me. Mm -hmm. I can't help if I get the best for less. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't get people that, oh, go ahead, go ahead, don't worry about it, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I can't get people put stuff in my extra stuff in my bag. I can't help that. Mm -hmm. With the blessings upon you. Mm -hmm. I can't help them say, well, you know, uh, 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 one time we bought a car that was loaded. I mean, that thing was loaded. Mm -hmm. You know, back then you just call everything but the kitchen sink. It had the sink on it too. <laughs> and the water hose and everything else with it. And uh, when we got the finance, and they had, they had a price of a naked car called a naked car. 
In other words, the price of the car that was loaded was the price of the car that didn't have nothing on it. But when, after they rung it up and had signed, they couldn't change the contract. <laughs> it was a legal deal. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Well, we made it. I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> huh? See, that's, that's when values on your life. That, that's when you're showing up and things start happening. That's when you're walking in the rhythm of God. That's when you're walking in the black place. There ain't no conversation. And they trouble on the other end. You, you just sitting there. They're making mistakes while you're sitting there looking at them. You ain't hear nothing else here. Anybody, anybody hearing me? Anybody hear? See, your presence is going to mean something. Did you hear what they said, Joe? Your presence is going to mean something. Before you get your pocketbook out, your presence is going to mean something. Already Are you the woman that came for so and so and so and so? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Go over to, go over to, go over to Proverbs. Are y'all still with me? Yes, sir. still with me? Something's happening right now. Something, 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 there's a transformation going. Something's happening to your economy as I speak. Thank you. Oh, ain't nothing happening. No, ain't nothing happening to yours. I'm talking to somebody else. Amen. You got to deal with my smart folks. because You got all kinds of folks with spirits trying to speak. Go to Proverbs 3. Are y'all with me? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, boy, I feel this anointing. My God. Since tomorrow go, you'll never be broke another day in your life. Amen. But I just say, daughter, you'll never be broke another day in your life. Another day in my life. Boom. Can I give you a word? Come here, stand right here. But I just heard God say, go get you a for sale sign before you go home. Because God said, I'm going to move you again in 2020. I'm going to give you a supernatural deal. This prophet's crazy. This prophet's crazy. What did I just say? I'm going to give me a for sale sign when I leave here. I done dealt with three houses in one year. You hear nothing I say. Come on. You talk to a prophet that got your houses in his sleep. I bought a home out of my mind. You hear nothing I say. I'm looking for a home and it didn't show up to me. We look, we certainly wasn't there. I went to sleep and well not in the sleep. God woke me up and said, go to the website. Mm -hmm. The house I'm living in now, sister Kim. Mm -hmm. I Google it, got everything, and there was a house, and there was a bunch for sale, and I seen one there, but I've never known it. And I and I called Daniel. I said, Daniel, go check this out for me. He said, he said, give me the MLS number. He said, I said, hey now. He said, it ain't for sale. I said, man, check the house out, man. <laughs> and we got the coming report. Check the house out, man. Call me back. He called me back and Pastor, Pastor, it is for sale. The people that are selling the house, they don't want the levels to know they're moving, but they're selling the house. Mm. But here's the, here's the down thing. They only got about 13 contracts on the house. I want to see the house. Go to the house. It's too short. I feel, I feel anointed now. I feel my anointed now. I go to the house. I go in the house. Look around. Why look at We got this table. We don't act excited because we, well, we decided, but we had to be like, so I don't know. I mean, that's her. I'll be like, come on, that's a little too much. Come on, show, show something. You know, it's okay. It's okay. And so, I said, it's okay. So, I said, what you want to do? She said, tell them we'll, I said, what you want to do? She said, tell them we'll get with them in the morning. So, you know, go home, we talk about it. And so the boy comes. I said, tell it that we want to buy the house. And we want it by for this price. And we don't want to pay no closing. And we ain't going to pay. And we, uh, you know what I mean. And yeah. we know that. He said, come on, Pastor. I've been in the business almost 20 years. They ain't going for that. Can you at least put a ladder with it? You asked for so much. Can you at least put a little ladder in there? Uh -huh. So I put a ladder with it and everything. He said, I really don't know. I really don't know profit. If it's going to go or not, because that's a lot. We put the ladder in there. In 24 hours. Now, it's 30, this, this house got 13 contracts on it <laughs> that they're looking at. I come last. Mm -hmm. Johnny come last. Mm -hmm. Last year. be first. And it was, when I woke up the next morning, I get a call. He's Daniel screaming. Pastor, they received it. They did it. They said, I Then I come and begin to share the load with these two ladies. Yeah. And the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. 
when the blessing of God is upon your life, things happen. You better find a blessed man or blessed woman to bless. You ain't got time to, to keep paying fines for other people's mistakes. If you want to get out, you better find your prophet. You hear nothing I say. You remember that woman over there in First Kings 17? Had that suicide spirit on her? You remember the story. Y'all know the story. Had that suicide, go try to kill her son against his will. Because she broke. I bet you want to, wait a minute, but you don't want to kill, kill yourself. I can't imagine you. Somebody come here and say, if we can't make it, we kill ourselves. Okay. <laughs> but the prophet stepped up. The prophet stepped up. And said, the very thing you're dying with, give me that. I'm going to give you something to live off of. All right. And you don't have a money problem, you have a mentality problem. Uh -huh. If the woman wasn't broke, it was all in her, it wasn't what was happening in her heart, uh -huh. it was happening what was in her mind. Yeah. You hear nothing I say. Yeah. See, you think it's a money problem, it's a mind problem. Right. Oh, oh, you come here, Brother Wise. Hey. Oh. Lift up your hands, man. Of God. I hear God say, in 2020, we coming closer. All right. Then it would love to abort this relationship, but God said not for, not so. The enemy tried to fight you about this relationship between us, but 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 there's a something else in you called the God and you wouldn't let. Yeah. Every time the thought come, you would snatch it down. Yeah. You wouldn't even tell me that you was in this fight, but you was in a fight. But you knew that you knew that you was in the place of God. Right. And, and there was things just trying to come in your ear, but but even after you hear a certain thing. You knew that you knew that you was in the place of God. Right. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. But I see something in 2020 being released under you in the area of finances. I'm seeing you get ready to walk up into something that's going to bless your socks off. Some people go say, I wouldn't do that, man. No, you wouldn't, but I would. Because I've been ordained by God to do it. Yes. Said the Holy Ghost. And God said, there's some things that you want clarity on. And God said, before 12 o'clock, <coughs> Tuesday night, God said, you're going to have clarity on something that you're going to be free of. Amen. You're going to get a peace in your spirit as you walk into 2020. You're going to walk in with divine clarity. If you fall in the ditch in 2020, you weren't trying to see. But God, God said, he's going to make it clear for you. Said the Holy Ghost. Come on, you God. Divine connections are made from God. If God makes a divine connection, who is you to break it? Yeah. Not because you feel. You feel. You ain't shut your feelings up. You ain't created now world and nothing in it. That's how you gonna do that? See, we, we gotta watch that. What? You gotta watch that. God work through people, but there's a sovereignty of God that you got to know that you know that you know. I know. Don't play with me, spirit. You on you, off you, don't pray, don't come in my room fooling with me. Amen. When, it's, when you start talking about God, that's when you might piss me off. The other stuff, maybe it could be But don't do that. Listen, when, he, when Elijah made the connection, prophet, and the presence of God, see, certain people walk in certain realms of spirit that others don't. I'm sorry, go take it over God. I don't have time to talk about all that. Prophet preaching. Listen, so when he just passed by the boy and said, come follow me, he said, what? That boy got up. Can you imagine somebody just passed by you? He got up and went and started getting all this stuff together and telling his folks and mama, I'm going to go. <laughs> somebody going to come. It was, but he, but he, but up, he but was a miracle. But hold on. But the presence. But so, it was a miracle. It was in the instruction. Yeah, but listen to him. But, but the presence. But he sensed it. In some world, it doesn't care what we say. There is a divine connection because God created all of us. I don't care what scripture you know and don't know, but you predestined people. There's something in you connected to God. When he show up, you ought to know some is some mm -hmm. yeah. You know, some say, some nothing God. It was God, but we be talking about now. some Come on now. Come on something. Now. Some yeah. nothing. You better call it. Okay, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he went on. So he come coming back to the prophet, check the prophet out, because he was checking him. He was checking him. He said, uh, I want to go back. He said, well, so what I got to do with you? 
But in other words, he said, I don't even want you to make this about no fleshy relationship with me. I want you to know, do you know that did you hear God? Mm -hmm. Amen. And that boy went back and got something. He left. He walked off and followed the prophet. And you know he had to see this prophet in all of his life. See, the Bible just tells some stuff. The Bible, the book would be too big if he said it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know he had to see things night and day. He with the prophet. He seeing the supernatural. He walked with the supernatural. How do you doubt the supernatural? I don't know what kind of flesh you say you've seen. You're talking about the supernatural, so you know that's a God thing. That's a God issue. You don't touch that. No. You don't touch that. You can go talk to God if if he want to talk to you about it. But you don't run up in there and start just doing stuff in your own strength how you feel. And then after, after the prophets, the uh, after the prophet was getting ready to complete his assignment, prophet, then here he go, he tried him again. He said, why don't you stay here, I'm going to go back. He said, uh-uh, you ain't leaving me, prophet. He said, <laughs> what he said, as the, son, as the son lived or something, he said that. He said, mm-mm, I'm going. Prophet tried to leave him out. And he said, uh-uh, I'm going. And he was with him. He said, then he turned around. He said, if you see me when I leave, he said, you will get a double portion of my spirit. Right. In other words, if you be close, if you stay close to me, if you be present, if you stay focused, he said, when I get ready to leave, he said, you will have a double portion of my spirit. Right. That's what that boy said. And do you know he was there and watched him? And when he seen him, went up and God began to shift him up and end in his dispensation in this realm. Glory to God. He said, my father, my father. Mm -mm -mm. And that thing fell upon him, and he went back and tested. And look, and he shut that water, opened up. He said, Ooh, I got it now. He got it now. And I got it read this book that's like it's just a natural essence magazine. You better read your life. You better study your yeah. life. You yeah. better cry out about your life. Yeah. Glory to God. You yeah. better snatch your life. Yeah. Glory to God. You should be different. You got to be new. I told him, happy new year, nothing. Happy new, new you. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah. 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 Happy new me. Let me share something here. To your point. What was the word follow me? An instruction. Follow me. <laughs> All right. Come on, girl. Even when he couldn't see him, it was the word follow me. All the right. word. Say that. It was the word follow me. Mm -hmm. yeah. You may can't see me every day, but, but you remember what God said through me. Thank mm -hmm. you, Father. Yes. See, Paul yes. told Timothy her point. Paul told Timothy, war with the prophecy that's been spoken over your life. And see, we, we receive it, but we don't war with it. And so that's why, by the time we get here, your butt's kicked from Sunday. Because you ain't been, you heard the prophet, and, and you got all excited, but you're not war with prophecy. What, what is war with prophecy? When you're casting down other thoughts that want to come against the word of God. When God says one thing, and, and the circumstance says another. Come on now. When God say you the head and not the tail, yeah. and, and then you come a letter in the mail, say you owe me X number of dollars. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You ain't hearing what I'm saying. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Huh? When I, I, when I RS sent you a letter saying you owe them almost, almost $50,000, and then right behind the letter, you check the bank account, and it's more than you need to pay them off. You hear nothing I said. Huh? You hear nothing I said. Yes. One night I tell the wife, boom, this is the bill. The next morning I'm saying, I'm paying, we're paying it off. You say, you doing what? Yeah. We're paying it off. Hallelujah. Things will go according to your belief system. Thank you. Let me say something. If it keeps happening a certain way, and you're not liking the certain way, you gotta change it. What if I tell you everything you need is already in the earth? And somebody got everything, somebody got everything you need. Somebody already, I want somebody to hear me, it ain't coming out of heaven. No, stop gazing up. It's already in the earth. Uh huh. Huh? Come on, Luke 6, Luke 6, 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. Give and it shall be given. Give and it shall be given unto you. 
give and, and men, and then it said, men shall give. Who? Men shall give unto your wife. But where, where's men? In the air and the earth. Somebody's got everything you need already. Somebody is waiting to accommodate your 2020. I just somebody to write that down. Somebody's ready to accommodate your 2020. Let it be temple. So there's a situation. Now it's a separation. So now we need grace and mercy, right? God still moves in spite of. See. God will still move in spite of. God will make he'll make that a classroom uh -huh. and still bring you things according to timing and season, right where you are. Amen. That's the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. Amen. That's not the end of the world. Hmm? That's the end of the world. Mark, you remember you remember when your pastor you used to you used to ride in rental cars? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bitty, one one little bitty rental car. Oh, sure. Wow. You, you remember, you remember, you remember, she reminded me this morning, I, I didn't even she knew that. She said, I remember, I remember when you used to take prophecies to work, and, and, and she had to be to work at, at five, some years to be there at ten, but to save gas, you went to work and slept in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. See, people don't know all that. See? See, people don't know how they, they look at where you are, but they don't remember the, the day you were get out of one car, she get out, when I get off, she get in. I go home and she come back, beat me up for work. Preaching this gospel. Mm -hmm. See. Preaching and speaking to people that were living better than me. Mm -hmm. In this realm. Yeah, in this realm. Cool uh -huh. yeah. I'm in the cave, they're in the palace. Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My stomach growling as I'm prophesying. Mm -hmm. They big and full as a tick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should have said they man, they burnt. <laughs> <laughs> But something about something about when you do the will of God, huh? Yeah. Come on, that that was past. Some said that was the past. Yes. Come on here. See, you do what you do until you can do something else. Mm -hmm. But then you do it with joy. Uh -huh. You hear now, that's it. You enjoy the journey. See, when you already got the report, you can enjoy the journey. All right. <laughs> when you know you got the report, you you ain't tripping. You ain't tripping. Some people wouldn't even know what I was walking through. I'd be just smiling and going on. I'd be just smiling and going on. Because I know. I know. Huh? See, see, when you know, know. See, when, when you, when I talked this many years ago, it ain't about believing. You come to place, it ain't about believing. It's knowing, a supernatural knowing. See, I'm knowing God is moving in 2020. It ain't believing 2020. I know it. What I'm talking, I'm talking from a no. I'm, I'm preaching to you from not a belief system, but from a no system. Come on now. I'm knowing God to, to, to do it for you. I'm knowing God to turn it around for you. I'm knowing God to make the crooked places straight. I'm knowing God to elevate your life to a whole nother level that you've never been before. I'm knowing he's going to bring, come on, 1 Corinthians 2, 9, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. What God is about to do to them that love him, that Glory. love him. Glory to God. Amen. Now write this down. Tithes and offering and giving is not a law. It's an intimacy act. You get that one tomorrow. Someone say it's an intimacy act. Are we hearing this? Are we hearing this? It's, a, it's an intimacy. It's an intimacy. You follow what I'm saying? Come on here. Come on here. Are you going to hear what I'm saying? Hey. And the thing about it, the seed that God asked you for, you can't you can buy a home with it. You can buy a decent car with it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Is anybody hearing this? Amen. Ooh. Oh, I, feel, I feel the anointing. I feel the glory of God. I feel the glory of God. Ooh. Come on here. Someone says it's going to be different for me. It's going to be different, different for me. Come on here. Amen. See, see you, you got to have this conversation with yourself daily. Amen. Come on here. Many stuff that come on TV mess you up. Try to steal your faith. Come now that's at your mailbox. You was praising God until you went to that mailbox. Right. Now the thing that shook your faith. See? Faith is not faith until it's all you got. Do you want to see what I see? Mm -hmm. Faith is not faith until it's all you got. Mm -hmm. Are we hearing this? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, for a minute. I'm going to give y'all everything God gave me. I, I, he woke me up this morning, and I promise you. Now write this down. 2020 
is the year of vision and provision and divine favor. What I just say? 2020 is the year of vision and provision and divine faith. Now write this down. Living starts in your giving. Y'all get that? It's some good stuff. Some good stuff. What does living start? Uh, now you know what if I didn't know that for myself I wouldn't be confident that you were sure of that that was real weak that was real weak now let me talk to people that got the revelation now watch this here none, none, if you don't get the revelation none of this means you just had a church service mm -hmm. your 2020 will look like your 19 the last 10 years and I'm trying to get your mentality up. I'm trying to divorce you from all that you need a car <laughs> you need a car. You just jump. You need a car. You need a car. You didn't play with that spirit long enough. Come here, come here. I divorce. I divorce that spirit that want to keep sagging on you. You up here? I divorce that spirit. Amen. God said, if you move in the strength of this word. Before February 15th, you have an automobile if you move in the strength of this word. Yeah. If you move in the strength of this word, there's some loose end, fix the loose end and call me. And you follow what I'm saying? I gave you this word 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. God's waiting on you. You can be seen. God's waiting on you. Amen. Did y'all write that down? Yes. Now write this down. Write this down. Don't let your excuse be the reason you don't prosper in 2020. I want you to put a parenthesis by excuse. Don't let your excuses up to my apartment. Don't let your excuses. Mm -hmm. Anybody comes to our telling you about bills, tell them to shut up. Everybody got them. But, but, but I don't know about you, but there's going to be some debt-free people in 2020. There's going to be some debt-free people in 2020. There's going to be some debt-free people in 2020. There's going to be some debt-free people in 2020. Debt people in 2020. But see, watch this here. As long as you keep just paying bills and you ain't giving, you're robbing yourself. Yeah. You're robbing yourself. Uh-huh. Are we hearing this? Mm -hmm. Are we hearing this? Here? God got something special for you. God got something special for you. God got something. God got something. God got something special for you. People are already wondering. Gosh. Did y'all write that down? Uh-huh. Now write this down. God gives seed to create what you need. What I just say? God gives seed to create what you need. When you sow your seed and wrap your faith around your seed, your seed looks like your imagination. What you imagine. Did y'all catch that? Mm-hmm. Y'all got that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The earth will respond to my needs when I speak to it. Y'all remember the scripture? Whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you bound in heaven will be bound in earth. What was he talking about? The, those are words doing that. Those are words doing that. Those are words doing that, Destiny. Those are words doing that. God want to take your finances. Come stand right here. God want to take your finances to another level. Yes, indeed. God want to take your finances but to them. But he has to take your faith first. Uh-huh. 
got to take your faith first. It don't just happen because you want it to happen, but there's a faith to accommodate your belief system. There is a faith. There is a faith. God is bringing you into a different faith. God is bringing you into a different faith. See, when you think different and so different, you're going you're gonna to see different results. Is anybody hearing this here? Is anybody hearing this here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's coming together. It, I mean, it's coming. You, it's coming. It's coming. But God is going to take you into another faith, into another level of your faith. Your finances is going to change. Because, come on here. As you begin to walk in the kingdom concepts of sowing seed. See, tithes and offers is basic. But when God can, I always tell people, you know you can hear when you can hear. See, you know how you're hearing is tested? It's tested by, by dollar signs. When, when you can hear figures, that's when you can hear. That's when you can hear. You hear nothing I say. Second Chronicles 2020 said they second watch this here. Second Chronicles 2020. Second Chronicles, yeah, y'all ain't y'all ain't get it. Second Chronicles 2020. What's coming up? Second Chronicles 2020 said, believe God and so shall you be established. <coughs> believe his promise and so shall you prosper. Are we hearing this here? Mm -hmm. The miracles in the instruction. I'm giving to give some instructions in a minute, but the miracles in the instructions. Some would say twelve is prophetic. Twelve, 12 is prophetic. prophetic. Twelve represent authority. Twelve represent authority. One is divine. Two is agreement. One and two is what? Three. Three is what? Resurrection. You ain't coming in uh -huh. 2020 with dead news, with dead situations. Amen. Hello, people of God. Right. Hello, people of God. Hello, young folks. Hello. You can have as much of God as you want or less of God as you want. God ain't short of nothing. I want you to write that down. Somebody gonna get that revelation driving down 635 in a minute. And they're not gonna put up his door shot. God ain't short of nothing. He ain't short of healing. He ain't short of healing. Come on, come on here. Come on here. Come on. You just can't change your report by what you feel. Come on, Isaiah 53 and 5. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised, you said that. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. With his stripe, you are healed. Is anybody hearing this here? Let me let me let me give let me give some words. Let me give some words. Let me get some words. You ain't got time where y'all going. You ain't got time to carry other folks' luggage with you. Mm. You ain't got time to fight other people's battles. Mm. People will leave their garbage on you and they somewhere else. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sister Kimberly, step out now. Just give me step back in now. Step back to your seat. I hear the word of God say, I want you to step completely out of it. <coughs> completely out of it. Completely out of it. Step out of your emotions in here. My voice. God is carrying you something somewhere before Easter. I see something major happening in your life before Easter Sunday. And the enemy want to distract you with stuff, with familiar spirits. Do you know people can get familiar with you? Even your own family can get familiar with you. They can just see mom, sister, brother, uncle. I know what I'm talking about. And you speak in life. Step out of now. Lift your hands up. Say I'm free. Say I'm free. I'm free. Let your spirit know you're free. I'm free. I'm free. Say I'm free. I'm free. Say I'm free. It ain't your worry. It ain't your concern. That's been the problem for the last 18 years of your life. You've been trying to be the savior and you're not the savior. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Every time God, woman of God, someone get behind her. Every time God try to bless you, you try to carry everybody with you. I'm not talking, I'm talking spiritual. Mm -hmm. Spirits of a manipulation. Uh -huh. Spirits will hold you back. They will use what you love to hold you back. I, I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. I literally had to block my phone from family members. Right. It's blocked now. Some people can't get a hold of me. Uh -uh. You ain't talking to no me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Don't want to hear it. Don't send me no picture. I had to block my phone. Because... If you really valued me, you would be in my presence. Yes. You would be help exalting me, but you're trying to pull me down. Right. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for master breakthrough. I thank you for what you're about to do in this woman's life. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for divine turnaround. In the name of Jesus. In the name of of Jesus. Do it, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for divine change. We thank you, Father God, for the anointing to let go of the old. To accept. God say a new wisdom and a new knowledge that you shall operate from. A new presence shall be about you, said the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. When you walk back in your home, there's a presence that's going with you. And nonsense will not prevail. You better hear what I'm saying. God said, I'm going to free your spirit and I'm going to free your finances. And what the enemy thought he was going to do for you, he's not. Watch what God do. If I be a prophet of God, watch what God do. Watch what God do. Come on, give God some praise. Allow me to read this and we're we going we to come to a close. I, I, I want to do some certain things this morning because I know what God is, 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 is carrying us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Proverbs 3, verse 9, it says, Honor the Lord with thy substance. What, what, somebody say, Honor the Lord with thy substance. Honor the Lord with thy substance. Substance is your, is your seed. Honor the Lord with thy substance. Under the law without substance. Don't you know when you disturb something on the earth, every time you disturb something on the earth, God disturbs something in the realm of the spirit. He says, under the law with thy substance, and with the first fruits of your increase. Some said the first fruits. The first fruits of your increase. Are we hearing that there? Under the law with thy substance. You can't go out of you can't go out of uh, the new year without sowing seed. You can't go out of the new year without sowing seed. Would you hear this? Would you hear this? Would you hear this? Huh? God's gonna challenge some people this morning to do some things that's gonna cause new things to happen that never happened. When your seed ain't right, your harvest won't be right. Is anybody hearing this here? Mm -hmm. This is the principle of the cup. This is the kingdom. God showed me something natural this morning. Tomorrow go send me something and say, this is going to be the figure this year of the hotel. This will be the figure. You can multiply it, but this will be the figure of the hotel this year. And, and I called her back. And I, know, I know she was shocked because, you know, I, I basically challenged a lot. She tell me something. They say, I'm all right. No, we ain't doing none of that. We ain't telling them, no, we ain't doing nothing. Tell them, meet me. Mm -hmm. We ain't doing none of that. Well, what I tell you, I, I said, I know she probably tripped down to me. Did he sleep or what? <laughs> he said, okay. Because you know what? God's picking my spirit. She said, she said, they got a right to ask for increase. Ain't you increasing? Mm -hmm. They don't want the same given to them again. So they ask for increase. Are they wrong? In your business? Your, last year you had that price. Don't you want another price this year? Maybe the same outfit, but I'm going to up it. Mm -hmm. Anybody gets the increase? No, you're not against the increase. Because watch this here. Sometimes uh, that's, it ain't too high you to bring your thinking up. Uh -huh. It's the way you're thinking about it. 
Come on now. You still give it 20s and 30s? Come on. Something got to check with you. See, if it don't move you, it don't move God. But you know what I'm saying? I was somewhere last night. We was, we was at a uh, family function last night. And, and uh, 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 a family member of mine, I always go to the games. And, and I was talking to a friend there. And uh, watch this here. And um, no, wait a minute. No, watch this here. Watch this here. How much, how much was this seat when you walked in? Did they charge you for this seat when you walked in? He told me two cowboy seats, fourteen thousand dollars for the season, and you gotta get you gotta get licensed. You always have those seats for fourteen thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Wait a minute, for a ball flying in the air to be in the right section. See your gift make room for you. You hear nothing I say? You, I'm, I'm telling you your principle, huh? See your it depends on what you want to to sit in light what you see. Uh -huh. No, watch this here. No, brother Wise, we can't say that man crazy. How are we going to tell this man that work every day he's crazy for paying $14,000 to see the cowboy? I'm not going to tell him that. Because he said, I remember the day when I couldn't even see the game. Now God has blessed him, so wait a minute. He said, now you can do it too. He said, now you can just buy tickets to go in the game or you can have licensed seats. Wait a minute, never heard of that. You got seasoned this license. Can't nobody, in other words, every time you go, everybody in the same, it's the same people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They don't need binoculars where they are. Mm -hmm. Your gift make room for. Where do you want to sit in life determined on what seat you saw? Uh -huh. what, what position do you want to be in in 2020 determines on what you saw? You ain't hear nothing. I see who am I talking to. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, yeah, I'm dealing with your money. I'm dealing with your giving. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to get all kind of letters. We're going up on taxes. You homeowners, we're going up on taxes. Everything's going up but you. You, you know when I see letters coming in the middle about increase, my brother. I said, okay, okay, God. So if you're increasing that, you're increasing me. I'm the one got to pay. <laughs> see, see, I said, you thought it was a devil. That wasn't a devil. See, God's trying to get your thinking up. And, and, and you know what? It's time. Stop driving in the air. It's wishing. Go and get it. Come on. All right, see, that's, Come on, that ain't going well. That ain't going well. Uh -huh. That ain't going well right there. Mm-hmm. 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 You, you don't want to be able to You remember what honey, you know, before we were naturally able to live in the areas that we live in, we should we should live in one side of town, but, we, but our faith would drive us over in the areas where the nice home was. Mm -hmm. And we would park in them and stuff and go and they go up park and, and that it was ours. Yeah. <laughs> we used to get cars, we used to test drive cars now that we actually own. We, we, we would go test drive them and bring them to our old house and put them in the garage. We sit in the we start laughing. We're like, I'm telling you, I need to take a You hear that, I said. And my wife remembered, you, you remember all the cars I used to put out that old ragged car that used to be parked in front of Mother's house? That red car, I, and in my garage. I had cars of Bentleys and Mercedes and Jags and and, uh, and, and we just about drove everything but a Bentley, right? Just about everything but a Bentley. Your mother, we can't even say mother, yeah, man. <laughs> and, and so I had car, I had pictures on the wall of what I wanted. Visionary boards. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Visionary boards. Now, now people come to that in the faith they think you're crazy. Crazy. I, I used to get old. I used to, I got car mats of old cars and 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 and, and put them put them in my uh, my driveway. I told y'all this story one time. Right? Yeah. I would tell you, since some people been here long, they said, we hear the story, we know that. <laughs> about how I got it in, how I got it in an invisible car, brother wise. I didn't have no car, and and because the, the car I had it tore up, so I got the old cat and mother Matt said that had from your house. I put the front ones up here and the back ones back there. And so the Lord told me, says, uh, uh, he said, now I want you to go about a certain time of the morning, I want you to go out in front of it. I want you to go out in front, and I want you to get in this invisible car. And, hey. I, and I did not crazy enough. Mm -hmm. What I got to lose? I ain't got no car. Right. Ain't got no money. Ain't got no car. Right. Mm -hmm. So I step off in this invisible car. He said, praise me. My neighbors be passing by. And they were telling me, I see you out there praising God. I said, yeah, I was, why not? I did that five days. Mm -hmm. And a brand new Cadillac showed up. Mm -hmm. You had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> God said, I'll take the foolish thing to confound the wise. Come on here. See, watch this here. Just because your living look like it's dying, your giving don't. 
I just said something. If you keep your if you keep your giving alive, your living to stay alive. Uh -huh. Come on now. Your seed to keep you alive. Who am I talking to? Huh? huh? Baby, you ain't going through hell. You going through a transition. You metamorphosis. <laughs> you growing up. Amen. You you know why you feel depressed? Because you don't. That stuff is too small for you. Come on now. Lord, you hear nothing I say. You, 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 you hear nothing I say. You bigger than that man of God. You bigger Amen. than what you're going through. I said, you're bigger than what you're going through. You're bigger than what you're going through. God's giving me to ink your income. I'm, I see permanent income income coming to you that you're going to be able to, to, to note. <coughs> Whatever you do, you better come closer. Say profit. Say profit. Say profit. Say it again. Say profit. Say you my profit. You know what that's did to you, brother? Let me tell you something. You know what that's did to you? But let me tell you, your, your whole life is giving the metal. Yes. I just divorce you for some things that wanted to come in your 2020 that won't be able to come. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to say something you never said, no. Mm -hmm. No will be your magic word in 2020. No. <laughs> I'm not doing it. No. I feel the anointing of God. Whatever you do, stay close. Mm -hmm. I see you. I'm looking at you, I see you. I know who you are. I already know who you are. I already know who you are by the Spirit. The thing I can tell you about you with blood, if I told you what I really see right now, I have to pass sunglasses to everybody because your feet are so bright, I need sunglasses to look at you. Open your purses up. Open everybody. Open your purses up. I'm giving it a deuce to the child. I feel the anointing of God. I feel the. God told me to give you twelve envelopes. <coughs> Eleven of them have a prophetic seed of one thousand dollars on it. One of them have a seed of two thousand and twenty. And God said, this prophetic seed is going to break a cycle in your 2020. Now, this is for people that believe. I don't want nobody calling me. I don't want nobody, I don't want nobody telling me some stories. This is strictly faith. This is strictly faith. I, I don't need a story. This is about demonstration. This is about demonstration. He said, I give, well, I, I don't know about, he said, I give seed to the soul. Bread to the eater, and that that's sown is multiplied. That that's sown is multiplied. You better hear what I'm saying. This seed is going to cause you to shift. This seed is going to move you from an uncomfortable place to a new place. If you're a business owner, it's going to shift your economy. Your economy will be able, business to be documented. You will be literally be able to live off of, off of your gift. That's a word for you. In 2020, God, something's going to happen to you. You want, I know this for to take the $1,000 seed. I seen you this morning. You want them this world to take the thousand dollar seed. And God says, sow the seed. I feel the anointing of God. I feel the anointing. I feel the I feel the anointing of God. What is God telling you, woman of God? So he's telling me, uh, the first fruit of my increase goes to this ground. You know, the last time you came up on the seed, some property showed up. Mm -hmm. 
And Margo, you may be moved. <laughs> Margo? The last time you rushed like that, you moved out of your apartment into a home. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the Lord told you a few hours ago, good for sale sign. Something stupid about to happen to you. A crazy blessing about to happen to you. Someone's going to want your property and give you double for your truck. Pick your gift. Read on the back of that what it says. Believe God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. Second Chronicles 22. Amen. God said that shall be a performance of faith. Amen. God, the God said angels are already moving in your behalf as I speak. Right. And as you honor the sea, watch what happens. Get the sign today. Watch what God do. Come on, give God some praise. things that need to happen in your vision, what that you're actually doing now. When you get home, I want you to rewrite those five things. There's five things that God wants to do in 2020. There's five. I see some upgrades. I see another level of, you got excellent, but I see a whole other level of excellence. I, I, I see a whole other thought uh, uh, pattern that's getting, getting ready to come to you. Amen. I, I, I see God increasing your resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see the right people get ready to step and do some things that you've been trying to do. Amen. And God said, He's giving to put you out here and say, Tell them, give it to put on location. Right. Amen. <laughs> I just said, <laughs> if God can locate the seed, He's going to put you on location. Right. But I hear God say, You're to sow a thousand. You, you, I'm telling you what God God said, You're to sow a thousand dollars seed. Yeah. Let nothing hinder you from the seed. You can bring it or you can pay about it, but God say it's available. God say I give seed to the soul. And that's one of your major concerns going into 2020 because you really want to run with this thing. But I hear God say, I'm gonna give your feet like hinds feet. I'm gonna give your feet like hinds feet. Sit down there in that seat. This is Franklin said in Mary. A woman of God I hear God say, because God told me the one that took. Take the $2,020 envelope. When I get through this all, I'm going to give you the whole law for the year. Hallelujah. Mm. Lift up your feet. God said you're going to give your feet like hind's feet. You know, hind feet, so that's what deer have. They're able to climb impossible places without following. Right. They climb on rocks that, that slant. You're going to walk, well, you're going to walk in areas of building where people would have failed. Hmm. Right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But God said, you're going to climb those places. Stand back up. Yeah. Father, I thank you, God, for the seed. You said you give seed to the sower, bread to the eater, and that their song is multiplied. Drop that in your purse right quick, because there's an anointing upon that. Uh -huh. When you get home, I want you to look at your bank account where it is, you'll never see those figures again. You'll never see those figures again. Something's happening in metamorphosis in your bank account, right? Them figures won't happen again. As a matter of fact, I see even I see a new bank account that's gonna be established. Mm. Father in the name of Jesus. <laughs> God, I thank you for a financial suddenly that's given me to happen in her life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And, 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 and your crowd, that ain't going to be nothing. That, that, that's going to be like a drop in the bucket. But one of the God, when you sow this seed, it's going to change the culture of your environment for 2020. And God said, as you move with an urgency, yeah. God said, Behold, I come quickly, yes. and my reward is with yes, Come yes, in, woman yes. of God. Stay right there. Come in, woman of God. 
Just move over right here, woman of God. Get your vote about your prayers and hold it right there. God, I thank you. God says you move with an urgency. God said, watch what happened. As you move with energy, he said, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Don't go to bed without getting the sign. You know where to get it from? If you don't, I do. He said, this is crazy. God do crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, God, for the divine increase. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And God said, you're also going to be one that's going to be in the right place at the right time. And I, I see I see something that you're going to connect with, with residual income. Uh -huh. And what all you're going to do is go to the screen and it's going to be an increase. Amen. Amen. It won't be 30 days past, but I see you involved in something. I say, it's going to bless your socks off. It's going to bless. And some are going to show you how they, they're going to like your spirit. And I'm seeing you move up in the right pretty quick. Yeah. Well, others going to be still back here. I'm seeing you moving up to a level. All right. Come on, God. This thing going to be so good, your residual going to make residual. Money will not be an issue. Right. Money will not be an issue. But I see God changing your territory. I see God changing your territory. Come on, give God some praise.
Who did a whole shot now about how you do a Oh, I feel the Lord. How bad do you see what you sort of tell me what you go what, what you gonna say? He said, I give seed, souls, bread to eat it. That the song, not that you keep, that the song is multiplied. I want you to take this thousand dollars and stick it under your hat. Because God say, you God's giving you another level of wealth conscience. Of wealth conscience. Of wealth conscience in the name of Jesus. You're not bound by circumstance. See, the enemy want to hold you back because you are a giver. You, God knew who you were from your mother's womb, prophets. From your mother's womb. You've been fought from the womb. The enemy desired to take you out as a young woman. Around your 20s, I seen some crazy stuff. Around 21, 22, 25, there was some crazy stuff. The enemy wanted to take your life. But God said, I'm, re I'm relocating you. Yes. I'm relocating you. And woman of God, 2020, you shall shine. 2020, you shall shine. 2020, you shall shine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm saying you getting involved with some residual income too. I'm saying, I'm saying you get in some fun. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yes. Not, Woo! I'm saying you get involved with some material income. Thank you, Lord. But your everything is getting ready to change. Amen. Your everything is getting ready to change. Amen. Your everything. God said your proud are being answered. Said the Holy Ghost. Oh, I feel the glory. I feel the glory of the ocean. Kananamo Randini Bosha. Kananamo Bosha. New thoughts. Uh -uh, don't let nobody, don't let nobody downside your thinking. Because they are things. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That's personal. It gets personal when it comes to my thinking. Uh-uh. You can have what you say. It's your faith got you here now. Your, your mouth got you out of where you once were. Your mouth gonna get you out. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Prophetess, prophesy. See? Glory. And I see the seed coming. I see the seed coming real quick. I see the seed coming. I see the seed coming. It ain't gonna disturb nothing. It ain't gonna disturb nothing. It ain't gonna disturb nothing. It ain't happen so quick. I see the seed coming. I see the seed coming. I hear God say, I give seed to the soul. And God, my God, my God. You can't buy no house with no thousand dollars. Can you buy no coat? Watch this here. I'm, I'm sure, sir. Go to the world with a thousand dollars, see what you can get. Uh-huh. Just give leave here and go to the car lot with a thousand dollars. See what happens. Don't accept it as a down payment. Brother Wise, go, 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 go with a thousand dollars. Go with two thousand and twenty dollars and see what that gets you. What kind of house? Can you buy a house with that? No. I feel the glory of God. Come on here. When God see your faith, when God see your faith, watch what I feel the Lord of God. I feel the Lord of God. Father God, I thank you for master breakthrough. I thank you for these paymasters in the name of, name of Jesus. Money is going to begin to come. Money going to find you. Come on, come on. Money going to find you. I said money going to find you. Money going to find you. Does anybody hear me this? Does anybody hear me this? God, I thank you. I thank you for the seed. I thank you for the manifestation that it's going to produce. And God said, name your seed, whatever you want it to do. Whatever you want it to do, God said, name it. Watch the cycle be broken. Come on, you've got some person. Put up your fear, put up your doubt. Thank you, Lord. Look at God. Look at God. Lift your hands. I see God dealing with your health. Something about your health. I see God doing dealing with your health. Mm -hmm. Come on. I hear health and I hear wealth. Oh, Shanara Bokor. Shanara Boboko Bring me your purse. Where your purse? You got a purse? Got a purse here? 
You got a wallet in your purse? Wherever you put your money at, whatever you put your money at. You ain't got a wallet, bring your purse. Oh, I know that move. <laughs> Grand, Granny used to do that one. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 I want you to, before you go home, I want you to stop and get a, get a new wallet. I want you to stop and get your new wallet. Because it's because, because when you sow this seed, new money is getting ready to come to you. You're going to see money that you haven't seen before. Amen. Said the Holy Ghost. You know, you know, frankincense and myrrh was what they brought unto the wise men brought unto Jesus. The myrrh was used as a preserver of bodies. That's what Mary was used as, 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 a, I mean, uh, as, as a preserver. What God is doing when he anoints you with frankincense, he's preserving you for greatness. He's, he's preserving you for an arrival. He's preserving you for a resurrection. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you, Father God, for a financial Sunday. I thank you, God, right now for a financial breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, meet every need spiritually, physically, mentally, financially, in the name of Jesus. Someone said, do it for God. Do it for God. Do it, for God. Do it, God. I see the seed coming. Don't, don't let it be a delay. I see the seed coming. In the name of Jesus. You stop somewhere and get that wallet. And watch the money come. Watch the money come. Watch the money come. God's going to give you divine ideas. Watch what, watch what I say about your heart. Come on, give God some praise. Branch and eat them. That the sun will be multiplied in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, give God some praise. dealing with bringing your thinking to another level. This thousand dollar seed. Who's God dealing with? Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Now, that's going to be a performance. I ain't just passing it. Yeah. God's moving. I yes, know he is. Yes, I know he is. Yes, he is. I know what God's seeing. Yes, he is. I know what God's seeing. There's things going down as I speak. These, are, these ain't Bible folders. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, God, for the thousand dollar seed, God. I thank you for it, God, right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that every need is going to be met in the name of Jesus. I thank you for divine turnaround in the name of Jesus. God said, when you sow the seed, God said, watch the thing with the car. Watch everything line up. I'm the key to it. I'm the key. I'm, you, 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 I'm the key. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. And God said, don't even let that be a weight of, of what's due you of the past. Because God said, I'm giving you so much in front, that'll be a thing of the past. Amen. And God said, no credit will be damaged. Amen. No credit will be damaged. Because God said, when I make this a real estate move, I'm going to walk all around you. <laughs> <laughs> because your heart was pure trying to help. Give your hands up. God, we thank you. Rub your hands together. Go get your wallet, woman of God. I feel the anointing of God. I feel the anointing of God. I feel the anointing of God. I feel 
feel the glory of God. I feel the glory of God. I feel the glory of God. You're going to come into uh, some debt freeness too. I think God, I believe God spoke to you about a man. And this won't be your husband. This is, I, I hear this word coming. I'm regurgitating this word again. But that is a man coming in your life. He'll look like you want to marry him, but he ain't yours. Amen. It's going to be strictly business. Amen. You know, that was a, can I share something with you? And I'm sure this person, I won't call her name, but that was a person one time that met somebody. And uh, when she met this particular person, and um, he thought it would be something else. But guess what it was? She wasn't interested in him in that way. And what happened was, God dealt with him and said, the reason that I put you in her life, because you need to give her a car. Uh -huh. And he was instrumental in putting her in the Mercedes. Uh -huh. And after he did, he left, and she never seen him again uh -huh. to this day. She didn't like him like that, but the point was how God will you. <coughs> now remember, this man going to look like somebody you wouldn't marry. But it won't be nothing about that. It's going to be strictly, but he's going he gonna to be a blessing. It's, it's going to be like a, a resource. It's going to be some information. It's what he packs mm. that will help you do what you're trying to do. Amen. If you get confused, call the prophet. I remember the prophet. He gave them twice. <laughs> if you get confused, sister, I'm Sister Camlin. And then I have prophets to come. And she, and she to the point. She went, ain't she, Margo? Yes, she, she is. Yeah. She'll counsel all the brain with me. Right. It's straight to the <laughs> Crazy. I got crazy Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for a new beginning, God. God, I thank you, Father God, for the seed that she's going to sow. Sit it back, press down, shaking together, running over. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, give God some praise. Not coming. Uh, you see, we got to be this high. Y'all talking so much. <laughs> I said, God, go over there and tell them. Just, just go on and tell them that can't happen. Because we ain't going out like that. Mm -hmm. Go tell them now. Because mm -hmm. we ain't going out like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this to say, because God been dealing with me now, too. 2020, we're not going to be going out this warrant. Mm -hmm. The warring days is over. That's why David couldn't be up in his tabernacle. Because the Lord said, you done shed too much blood and you done watered enough. He said, I'm going to bring this kingdom in on rest. Yeah. Glory. And he told his son, come on, here, Solomon. And Solomon just stepped up into a rest and just, in other words, I'm going to make you a king. I'm going to put you in a divine rest. But all I want you to do is give a decree out of the mouth of a king. Every word is decreed. When a king decrees a word, it can't be changed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you got to be conscious of this stuff. Don't read this and leave that on that paper. Mm -hmm. You got to take this with you mm -hmm. and walk it in your spirit. Say, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I got it now. You shouldn't do You done told me. I got it now. Don't be no 50 day next time hearing people. See? <laughs> no, I uh, heard you God. Anytime when you hear God say, well, I don't care where you at, say, I hear you God. I hear you I hear you God. I hear you, I hear you God. I let you know I hear you. I solidify the universe and say, I hear you God. So you got to do what you say because I heard you. Yes. Because God can't lie. So if you know God is saying something, you open up your mouth and say, I heard you, God. I heard you, God. I heard you, God. I, you, God. I embrace it, too. Amen. And this young man right here, your whole world is changing. The Lord said he wants you to release everybody in your family that did anything to you. And God said in healing. I mean, I see a healing come hit your spirit. Man, you're going to be so free. And you know what? And, no, and, it, and that ain't even nothing because it wasn't even about you. God had to bring you out so he can bring you in, mm -hmm. into his presence. And they couldn't come right now. But glory to God. By it. But as he make you a uh, walking miracle and demonstration, they, look at here, they, they, you're going to draw them in on your word. That's all you got to worry about. Don't even think about none of that stuff. It don't even matter. You got to be free now. 
because you got to keep yourself free. You can't come and hear from God and be so weighted down yeah. and stuff. Free yourself up to do what God wants you to do. Free yourself up and know that you can say, I'm a son of God. Uh -huh, and God loved me, and I love him too. And you watch your change this year. I'm thinking things going to be happening quickly. I'm talking about quickly you're going to see things happen in your life. The angels of God and already assigned angels to work for you, work on your behalf. And in this year, y'all better understand that God is counseling our debt. At the end of the year, there's always a debt cancellation. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. He's sending angels now, counseling debts out. Ooh, debts man. Are up all of you now. This is supernatural stuff. So you can't try to try to think about the natural when God is talking to you from the spirit. No, your debts is counseled. Be free from it. Don't be in bondage to nobody. Oh, nobody, nothing but the love. Nothing but the love. Yes. Say, baby, I can't do that with you right now. You know how you tell Yeah, yeah. You know, and hung, God bless you. And you keep it moving and stay free. Because God can ready to bless your socks off. Yes. Which one is you hold? Oh, he holding me. Oh, you want me to be quiet? No, you don't. Hallelujah. And so you <laughs> right now. We're going into God and putting you profit. Money that I teach you to be the prophet. Yeah. Going somewhere else, go to God. God will put a million dollar idea in your head. Yes, <laughs> Glory to God. And where your name was Thank nothing you. in the earth yesterday, it'll be singing all over the world. Yes. He said, I made your name great. Yes. God say, I did. Amen. 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 Who else God speaking to about a thousand dollar seed? You think the thousand dollars gonna be a watch the heart? Say, 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 watch the heart. I know when the Lord God told me that you were watch the hearts. Watch the hearts. Watch how God put it together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Watch how God do it. Watch how you do it. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, God, for for the seed that the shawman's going to, God say it's going to, God say you, there's seven things that God wants you to write down when you get home. And God's going to give you master breakthrough in 2020. 2020 should be an exciting year for you. It should be a year of creativity. It should be a year of entrepreneurship. You one that a clock won't be able to hold as a young woman. You're destined for greatness. You're destined for greatness. And I'm also seeing you around a, a pool of, of, of young women, but these women are going to be real resourceful. Glory to God. Real resourceful. You're going to be in the right place at the right yes, time, too. And watch what God did. No, 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 no. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, oh God. God, I thank you. Now, this seed is going to, it's going to revolution your life. And this is what's going to bring your income to stability. In the name of Jesus. The enemy may want to say, why, what? But what about it? God say, I give seed to the sower, yes. bread to the eater, and that the soul is multiplied. Yes. And God said, yes, I'm going to do the call. Yes. And you're another one that I see residual income coming into. Residual income. Money you're going to be making while you sleep. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, God, right now. In the name of Jesus. I thank you for the manifestation of seed of everyone. Everybody took an envelope. I want you to hold it there. God, we thank you for the manifestation of seed. We speak, God, the word over you. You said you give seed to the sower, bread to the eel, and that, that song is, is multiplied. And those that have those right now, you do what you need to do. Those that have those right now, you do do what they, who's sowing their seed today? Who's sowing their seed? He's, God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the thousand dollar seed. In the name of Jesus. God said within 72 hours, God said, watch what he's going to do with the seed. Some of y'all going to be calling me for the day is over. Father, we thank you, God, a hundredfold return on this prophetic seed. In Jesus' name, amen. Anybody, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? So the thousand dollar seed, anybody else? Anybody else? Else. Else. Father, we thank you. Watch what God do, man of God. Watch what God do. So Margo, let's get ready for the uh get ready to take up our offering for today.
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anybody else think God is speaking concerning the thousand dollars? I want you to come get him though. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, God, right now in the name of Jesus. And I hear the word of God said, I shall also give you wisdom in this season. I shall divorce you from things of the past, said God. But God said, I shall bring you from, from the pit to the palace, but it shall be my divine wisdom. For this seed shall break a cycle, said the Holy Ghost. This seed shall break a cycle. The enemy desires to hinder you, but God says not so. God says not so. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you, God, right now, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for your mercy and for your grace. I thank you, God, for, for income. I think I speak income. I speak divine ideas and concepts in the name of Jesus. In one incident, it looked like a bad thing, and you know what I'm talking about. But in one incident, it's a good thing. You see what I'm saying? Because now that garbage is gone. You follow what I'm saying? See, the last time someone in my ministry, when the automobile was taken, they got a new one. <laughs> it was your mother. Your mother called me the day that it happened. Then I tell you, by 12, you have another one? And send her to the car lot. I said the same anointing on you. You better hear this. You better hear this. You better hear this prophet. Father, I thank you. We're gonna pull you out again. And this time don't get back in the pit. In Jesus' name. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you, God, right now. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, for the seed. That's right, God, come, come, a couple of months. Remember that. Father, God, Father, in the name of Jesus, God's doing house cleaning at your place. House cleaning at your place. And you won't be able to house luggage because, God, you finna move. Do you hear what I just said? You finna move. I see a house. I see a house. You may like, I don't see how. It ain't how you see it. It's how God sees it. But where you at won't be where you at. Glory to your name. Oh, watch what God do. Watch what God do. To God. Come on, Sister Marga. Come on. Come on, Sister Marga. Go ahead and pass out there. Oh, How you doing, young lady? Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I, I thank you. And God, I give you the praise and I give you the glory. God, I thank you for what you started in this world. You know what? You've been eating this word. You've been eating this word. You've been eating, you've been eating, you've been eating this word. This, this, this word is, is, is bigger than what you think it's all about. But this word is really getting in your spirit. It's really getting in your spirit. You should see the manifestation of what's been taught in this ministry unfolding your life in 2020 in Jesus' name. I'm getting ready to happen in your family for the good. Nothing moving in your family. You don't know what you need. Cut that back off. Cut it back off. No, cut it back off. Is that possible? No, no. Okay. Yeah, want me to cut it? It's both of them off? Nuh-uh. Mm -hmm. 
If you're out there and, and, and this, you've been blessed by this word and you desire to sow a seed, somebody help me out. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, but if you desire to sow a seed, amen, feel free. The Bible said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good men just press down, shaking together, running over. Shall men give into your bosom. If you desire to sow a prophetic seed into the, this work, you can go to paypal.com and put in Prophet Darrell Johnson. That's D-A-R-R-E-L-L -L Johnson, 1958, at yahoo.com. Again, that's Prophet Darrell, D-A-R-R-E-L-L, -L, J O H N S O. 1958 at yahoo.com and sow your seed. Now, if you have a local church home, your tithes and offering goes there. But you're welcome to sow a seed here if, if, if you've been blessed by the word of God. Amen. I want to give those opportunity. There may be some been listening uh, to the word today or have been listening for a while, uh, this particular ministry. I want to give the opportunity. If you desire to give your life to God today, feel free. Amen. And you say, well, how can this happen? It's, it's very easy. By simply asking God to forgive you of your sin. And if you believe that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for you and raise him from the dead, that you could be saved, you can be saved right now. It's not by a feeling, it's by faith through his amazing grace. Everybody say with me right now. To those that want to receive the Lord as your personal Savior right now, there in social media, say this with me. Say, God, God, God I, believe I believe that you sent your Son, you sent Jesus, your Christ, Jesus Christ, to die for me die and raise him from the dead, that, that I could be saved. Be saved. In the name of Jesus. I believe by faith that I am saved. I believe by faith that you've forgiven me of my sins. God, come into my life. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into my life to lead and to guide me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you just prayed that prayer, you are saved by faith. I pray that God will send a shepherd to your life or send some disciple to your life to lead you to a shepherd that will be out the God's own heart and teach you the word of God. Well, until we meet again, grow and grow in the things of God, and we, we'll see you next time on Spiritual Empowerment for Success in Life. God bless you. Happy New Year's to you in 2020. God bless you. Bye-bye.